Cause you're listening to Jams and Tea on see the show on your TV so we can talk about things musically. Cause you're listening to Jams and Tea. You're listening to Jams and Tea. Welcome everybody to a very, very special uh, episode of um, the Jams and Tea podcast. So what is happening today is that uh, we have decided that a very cool thing to do would be to run a Twitter bracket where we um, allow Twitter users to vote for the greatest album of all time in, in our quotes there, based on a selection of um, beloved and critically acclaimed records that we select. Um, so we're going to, how we're doing this is um, today we're going to do a, a, a we're going to play a trivia game basically. So each of us have written a set of trivia questions and each of us have compiled a list of um, beloved albums uh, with some specific criteria as to what can be eligible. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be asking each other our various trivia questions and if the person who's getting asked the question gets it right, then they get to put forward uh, an album for the 100 list. And what's going to happen is each person is going to contribute 20 unique records to the list of 100. Um, and basically, this will be a fun test of their knowledge to see who can get to um, submit the, the most records first, basically, um, who will be the first person to clear their 20, uh, who will be last, and um, who's ex who's gaping holes in their music and their general music knowledge will be exposed basically i thought that was going very different yeah, I, I was gonna too. say i was like look i didn't know we were talking about each other's like, gaping right, holes we today we did look, not discuss that in the preliminaries i was not look, briefed uh you guys know that i love my innuendo so i'm always gonna sandwich them in there uh when you're right yeah here. i'm gonna so close, close my ass so you're gonna sandwich in there <laughs> And we've also Kevin picked, um, right up there. We're, we're contributing 20 mm -hmm. albums, but we each have a list of 50 albums that we are choosing that from. Yeah, exactly. And so there's so lots of different do. rules about how we are narrowing yeah, all gonna, of those down and all of that business. Yeah. I'm going to go through that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah. share to the screen for everyone to see uh, the list of rules and um, regulations and basically just um, what I came up with uh, in order to, in order for us to um, do this fun bracket. So um, basically, what the criteria were for each person to, uh, for each person's list of fifty albums is that they must have at least a three point oh out of five rating on Sputnik Music from at least three hundred ratings from three hundred different users, uh, or they must have a 3.50 out of 5 on Rate Your Music from at least 1,000 ratings. The albums must not feature in either the Rate Your Music or Sputnik Music all-time top 10 list. And the reason for that is just because uh, we felt that uh, if we had too many albums that are right at the peak of the popular albums list, then there would be no actual competition in the bracket. So one of those we albums. don't want OK Computer to win, is what exactly. we're saying. Like if OK Computer is here, <laughs> or if you know my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is here, or whatever, then it's just going to run away with it, basically. So yeah, we wanted to make, make it a little bit more competitive. Um, yeah. Another criteria is that a given artist may have only one title where they or their band are credited as a principal songwriter slash performer on the top 100 list that we come up with. So we can't have more than one album from the same artist basically on the list, just for the sake of um, having as, as wide a range of artists as possible. Um, in the event that a given artist has more than one record nominated for the long list, so say for, for example, purely hypothetically say that um, uh, I nominate Talking Heads Remain in Light and Jake nominates Talking Heads Fear and Music Fear of Music. Uh, what that will happen do. is that the um, I'm not sure if we're using a, a, a mean rating. I think we've got a, a special formula that Sersha has um, devised actually to determine basically um, that. so I think the way we're doing it is um, because we're only allowing one artist in uh, one album per artist in it's basically um, I think if you get your first question right and you get to put the artist in, then that's the artist's album we have. The formula yeah. I created is just to um, sort out the seeding. Um, yeah. So like if, how it's going to work is if uh, 
Tyler chooses My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and I choose um, The Life of Pablo. The, the Talking Head self-titled album, um, for example, then I would look at everyone's list and see how many of us chose each album. So My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy would have one, The Talking Head self-titled would have four, that's fine. The, so the Talking Heads would immediately get the priority there. And then I've created a formula to sort out the seeding within that, and it looks at both critical reception, uh, the reception by the, sort of the, the populace, the musicarati of uh, the main people, and also about how um, sort of well-known the album is. Because if we're talking about seeding, you do have to include how many people actually know the album exists. Because as we have seen from other online polls, a lot of people will just vote for the one they know. So that's something you've got to consider mm -hmm. doing the seeding. Yeah. yeah. What so basically you be um, referring to there? So basically, no, no, if um, no idea, if an artist has more than one album nominated, then the more beloved slash popular album will, will most likely emerge the one that ends up in the poll. Um, but but as Sersha said, we have a very kind of specific and detailed seeding process, so that the matchups that you guys will see on Twitter will be um, fairer, basically, and and tougher and um, more competitive. All right, so um, now let's talk about how this actual game that we're going to play is going to play out. So the um, the rules were, so each person in advance of the game, so all of us have already selected 50 albums that meet the long list criteria that I've just outlined. Uh, we've been instructed to keep our choices to ourselves and not show other podcast members. So this game is going to operate as a turn-taking trivia quiz. Each person will prepare 40 general knowledge questions relating to music. So, and these questions have been written with all of the group members in mind so that they're not too easy, and not too difficult. Um, a question can only have one possible correct answer, obviously, or only one, or it may have more than one possible correct answer, but any answer that a person gives must be verifiable as correct or not correct, just basic rules. Um, so what's going to happen is, um, because we're an acronym, J-A-M-S-T, Jams and T, the order in which the questions will be answered will, will be as follows. Jake, August, Morgan, Saoirse, Tyler. So each time it's a person's turn to answer, a different person will be asking them a question. So we have a specific order uh, of question asking, answering, uh, and we're going to basically follow this sequence. Um, so first is going to be uh, me asking Jake, and then at the end of the sequence is going to be Morgan asking me, and then we'll repeat the sequence basically until we've got all 100 albums. Um, so anyway, that's uh, a lot of complicated detail, but um, just so that it's out there. Um, each time a person gets an answer correct, they may submit any one of their 50 selected albums to the official long list, provided it meets the selection criteria. Once a person has answered 20 questions correctly and thus submitted 20 records, they will no longer answer questions, but they may still ask them. So, and what we're gonna do is uh, as we've had the sequence pre-prepared, to make the question answering fair, we're going to use a random number generator to generate a sequence that will determine which the order in which we ask our 40 questions that we've um, each written. Um, so anyway, that's a lot of complicated detail, but basically it just makes, sh it just makes sure that it's fair and that uh, we couldn't have planned this in advance to make it particularly harder for a particular person. So, um, I'll get my random number generator up now. So I've got yeah. the smallest value, one largest value, 40. And just so you know, I haven't pre-prepared the sequence. I'm gonna generate it live. Um, so we'll go get sequence. Oh. Um, shock. Oh. shock horror, I know. And live exciting. on your television. Okay, so here's our okay. sequence. So what I'll do is I've got the, um, the question asking sequence up on my screen. So I'll just, um, I'll just, um, basically host the quiz and I'll basically say, okay, it's this person's turn to ask this question. I'll just follow. Sounds good. Um, okay, good, so um, let's uh, just jump into it and basically we'll see how it goes. So uh, first up is, um, is me You asking, asking me, isn't it? Yeah, it's me yeah. asking Jake. All right, so what's gonna happen is um, for the first five, the first five questions of this quiz will be each person's question tw number 26, basically. Okay. All right, so my question number 26. So my question for Jake. Okay. 
Which Bjork album is notable for being almost entirely a cappella, featuring prominently the vocals of Inuit throat singer Tanya Tagat? I know this one. It's uh, Medulla, my favorite. It is Medulla. Well done. Yes! So Jake got the wow. first question right. So, hey. um, what's your record, Jake? Uh, I am going to pick Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds Let Love In. Wow. Oh, I had a different one on my list. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop the screen share now just so we can see each other because I think that's more interesting. But you've all okay. seen the sequence now. We can go back and verify it. I'm not going to change it. Mm. Um, yeah, but all right. right. So, so, Sersha, you, you're recording um, the albums that people say? I, I'm writing it down cool. on this right. piece of paper. I should have organized that beforehand, but um, I was hoping that someone would. Oh, I thought because I'm doing the seating, I'd just write it down yeah. anyway. It makes more mm. sense. So, okay. Nick Cave and the Bad Teeds Let Love In. So, okay. That's our first. Um, our so first annoying. One. Okay, so next up is uh, Jake asking August for question 26. Uh -oh. All right, and tw question 26? Okay. Mm -hmm. Question 26, August. This is, a, uh, this is a multiple choice, like many of my questions. So, okay. Kendrick Lamar's second best selling album behind Damn is A, Section 80, B, To Pimp a Butterfly, C, Good Kid Mad City. Or D, the Black Panther soundtrack album. Oh gosh. I'm gonna say it's not section 80 for sure. Okay. Um But what if it is though? I'm sure Jake would tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's Good Kid Mad City. That is correct, August. <clears throat> Wow, I was going to say that I would have said the Black Panther soundtrack. That I would is have said exactly that why I included that. The, yeah. the reason I said that was because I remembered Good Kid Mad City had a deluxe edition, which is why I thought maybe that has sold better. Damn. Correct. Well, so, okay. Recommendation right off the bat I'm going to go with uh, Music Has the Right to Children by Boards of Canada. Nice. Yeah! Please, please love that song. All right, so um, next up is uh, August asking Morgan qu his question number 26. Oh. All right. Oh this is going to ask me some shit about Brian Eno or something. <laughs> about a band I'm pretty sure you're familiar with. I actually do have a Brian Eno question. Which horror did Philip Glass do the score for? I have it. Name a film that Pink Floyd did the score for. I wonder. Oh, uh... Like just any film that they did a score for? That that they composed the original score for and released an LP of. Okay. Um Fuck, it's it's like their worst album. I can't <laughs> for the life of me. I can it's I actually do know the answer. Yeah, me too. It's obscure though. Yeah, it is, really. It's it's not Uma Guma, is it? Does not. Not Uma Guma. Okay. Well, you can't like ask August to rule answers out for, for you. You've got to give an answer. Oh, no, I'll give him that one because that's okay. like. No, that was that was me just thinking out loud. Yeah. No. Uh, I was, exactly. I was, uh, I was quite certain it was not fucking Uma Guma. <laughs> uh, Numa Numa A. As I'm. G <clears throat> I got nothing. Uh, you're going to tell me I'm going to feel like an idiot. It was, uh, you had two options. You had either more or Valley Obscured by Clouds. I was going to say more. What? Yeah, I would have said more that's, as well. That's, that's the worst name for anything. <laughs> <laughs> more. You are not wrong. No, I'm um, not going to deny that. Okay, you are moving, not wrong is the name moving of the next Evangelion uh, next film. Valley Obscured by Clouds is my favorite art book tongue we're after to call movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving <laughs> swiftly along. Uh, Morgan, The demographic turn... for that joke was me and Tyler. <laughs> Morgan, it's your turn to ask Saoirse your question 26. All right. This is an absolute gimme for her because I was, oh, I was hoping it would land on like August or something. <laughs> Uh, what is, what is the name of the band Frank Turner sang for before going solo? I had this written down. I know this. This is going to be it's going to be one of my questions, and then I didn't use it. Um, I think it might actually be one of my questions still. 
Um, well, you can't. You, you now you're cheating. <laughs> no, really here. She can't cheat by looking at her list of questions. Well, it's not one of her questions. Right. Sure. Maybe. Like, what are we going to oh, do? Oh, I did all of my. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was question four. Um, million dead or knee jerk? Uh, it was million dead. Yes. He was also okay, in a so band called Knee Jerk. Go, go listen to Million Dead. That's a good hard. They're really good. Album. They're really good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, Sergio, what is the first that. album you would like to submit? All right. Where's my list of albums? Um, so unorganized. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> unorganized um, you, bitch. I am going to pick. Um, I'm going to honor my days as a hardcore emo when I was 16. And I'm going to call, the, uh, actually, Jake knows what the punchline to this is. I do. I'm going to choose The Black Parade by My oh, Camper Romance. Nice. All right. All right. Another okay. record I think I have. Fair. It's <laughs> going to make it very high in the bracket. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> excellent. Sersha, it's your turn to ask me uh, your question 26. All right. This question is about an album that we recommended you, but I don't know if you listened to it, so I gave options oh, as soon no. as I realized we were going to give it to you. Oh, no. This is basically Sersha just being like passive aggressive and just being like, did you listen to the thing that I told you to listen to? <laughs> oh, oh, All right. No. What does, which movie does the song Humans Are Such Easy Prey by Peter Beta sample? I don't know this. Perture Bader. The, uh, I, have the not answer, listened, uh, I have not listened to Peter Bader. <laughs> I have to I'm immediately gonna, give up. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to give you options so you can oh, okay, do sure. a guess. Yeah. A, Terminator, the Terminator. B, Reanimator. Or C, Duel. Peter Bader. What was, the, what was the, <laughs> the name of the song again? It was called Humans Are Such Easy Prey. Uh, that's a reference to... From Beyond? Uh, it is. I'm going to just guess uh, Reanimator. You, you would be incorrect. I put that Oof. in as a possible wrong answer because the title refers to From Beyond. Uh, the answer Tyler, is Tyler, you Terminator. referenced it in the Mars Volta episode. The same line. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that when she said Terminator was one of the options, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if it's that quote that I referenced. But I had no yeah, idea. It, 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 I haven't heard the song. It was that. It, it opens with, it can't be bargained with, it can't, can't be, be reasoned, reasoned with, with, it, it will not pain. stop or until pain. you are or dead. Be drop. Okay, <laughs> let's keep moving. Um, next yeah. up, it is August's turn to ask Jake. Oh, boy. And the question is question number 32 is next in the sequence. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, this is fun. How many albums did Kanye West produce in 2018? <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, not even a multiple choice here. Oh, fuck. Five. That is the correct answer. Holy what? shit! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is the absolutely correct answer. I am God. Okay. Um, I am a god. Hurry up with my damn massage. <laughs> I am going to recommend. You know what? Because I because that was the celebration of a random ass guest that I didn't even think of. I was just like, I know he produced a Nas album and Kids See Ghosts and yeah. yeah and, uh. <laughs> but um, you turn into Alan Rickman. <laughs> I am going, I am going to put in <laughs> Saturation 2 by Brockhampton. Oh, okay. Cool. You. Saturation so, 2, interesting. The second one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of the best one. songs on it. It's a very good album. Um, it's not the best in the trilogy, though, but it's a good album. Saturation 3 hipster. Yeah, I am a Saturation 3 hipster. I'm surprised. Right. I mean, no, actually, no, I'm not. That's actually a really yeah. good pick in terms of popularity. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, next up is Morgan asking August question 32. Oh, there's no way in hell he's going to get this one. <laughs> all right. Uh, what was the first Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds album to feature Warren Ellis? Ooh! Oh. 
uh, that would be uh, the one Jake said earlier. Oh, uh, <laughs> you have to name it. You have to name it. Fine. Uh, shit. Because uh, you're right. You just have to name it. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! I am. Yeah, I'm not giving it to you unless you say the name of it. Though. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shit. so excited. He's probably heard so it too. mad I can't remember the name of it. It's like, I don't know, Let in Love? That's, oh, you have to give that to him. Yeah, you got I'm it. Not, I'm, not, I'm not sure I do, but I will. <laughs> Come on, give it Let to love him. Let in Love but yeah. Oh my god. August, I can kiss you. Good fucking yeah. job, man. <laughs> that was the most <laughs> random. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know what? I'll go with, uh, just because I like beating Tyler to things, I'm gonna rec- <laughs> I'm gonna submit Laughing Stock by Talk Talk. I Very knew good. you were gonna fucking submit that. I knew it. Because there Very were three good. of us that were going to submit that. Yeah. <laughs> at a mi- at a bare minimum. Now I have to cross that one out. Next, uh, next up is um, Sersha asking Morgan question thirty two. What's what's the numbers? Question thirty two. I can't wait to run the numbers. Thirty two. It's not even the right. Line. No, it's not. <laughs> what which musical venue is alluded to in the Run the Jewel song called Ticketron? Which, which song? It's, I, I wrote out the letters, I've never heard it said out loud. C A L L space T I C K E R T R O N. Yeah, I don't it's, know. So it's on <laughs> RTJ3. Um, Madison Square Garden is the answer. Okay. Uh, I have a, I have a live, live at the garden. I haven't, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, live at the garden. I haven't heard that album yet. Damn. Okay. It's a really good song, but here we are. I believe you. Okay, so <laughs> uh, next up is me asking Sersha my um, question 32. Can't wait. I'm going to get it wrong. Um, no pussy footing was the first of many high-profile collaborations between Brian Eno and which innovative guitarist and songwriter? Yes. I know Fuck. this! I know it too. Fuck, I don't know. Um, I have a uh, guess. Gu- gu- guitarist or, and songwriter. Um, yeah. and Your innovative. guess is probably right, Morgan. Okay. We, we haven't established Eno, this. Keyword. We haven't established this, but is there a steel option? I don't, not at this stage. No. Damn. I think we said that we can do that if um, we're just if not are getting, getting enough well. right to. Yeah. 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 I would introduce that. Um, I don't fucking know if I was to take. Mm, I can I tell guess. you the year it was it, released if that would help. It's not, it's not going to help me. Um, if I was to take a guess, it would probably be Nick Cave, but I don't know. Yeah. Nope. It's Robert Fred. Yeah, yes! Robert I knew yeah. it! Oh, that was my guess. Wait, you what was the answer? I, you all spoke at once. Robert, Robert Fripp, Fripp of King oh, Crimson. Fair yeah. uh, right, alright, fine. Fripp did, they they did a... two solo collaborations together, and then Fripp was actually featured on like a lot of his um, solo albums as well. Yep. Um, mm. but yeah. King Crimson um, are a huge fucking blind spot for me, so... Fix I that! Loved, Fix that! I just loved, uh, I just loved <laughs> watching um, August's face light up when I said no pussy for him. <laughs> <laughs> he um, said the pussy word. <laughs> it wasn't even that. It was just the fact that I knew that August would know the answer. Um, all right. So next up is um, oh Jake asking me. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Question thirty-two. Okay. This is multiple choice again, like multiple most of my questions. What is the top-selling album? of 1985. A, Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. B, Reckless by Brian Adams. C, Like a Virgin by Madonna. Or D, Make It Big by Wham. 
Okay, well, I know that um, Born in the USA was released in 84, but I mean, it still could have been a high It still could have charted before. then, yes. Uh, I don't know which year, I feel like I should know for the Madonna one, but I don't know which year those other three albums were released specifically. Uh, I'm going to say, I'll say the Madonna album. You are incorrect. It is Born in the USA by oh, Bruce Springsteen. That was the yeah. trick. Damn. Yeah. Joker's no. trick. <laughs> Joker's trick. I need to get a question right. Holy shit. Um, yeah, you and me, bro. You and me, bro. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. All right. Moving swiftly along. The next number in our sequence is 11. Um, oh. And first up is Morgan asking Jake. I knew it. Do it, okay. bitch. Okay. Uh, who drummed in John, John Bonham's place on Led Zeppelin's reunion live al- album, Celebration Day? I don't know. God damn <laughs> <Okay>. it. <laughs> I don't uh, know. <laughs> it's, uh, Jason Bonham, John Bonham's son. Oh, huh. interesting. <laughs> uh, tough question. I would not have got that. Um, yeah, I was going to say, every, everybody should have done multiple choice questions. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't. No. But my questions aren't this hard, I don't think. Um, <laughs> no, you've got <laughs> Okay, right, next now up, I'm going to get um, hit is... with some question by Sersha where she's like, um, name five producers Frank Turner has collaborated with. <laughs> yeah, next up is Sersha asking August question uh, 11. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sersha's just like, all right, bitch, let's do <laughs> this. Yeah. You insulted me and now I'll ruin you. <laughs> no, please. I don't, I don't oh. think August is going to get this, but we'll see. Yeah, I doubt I will. Let's go. Okay, question, question 11. Which song from the Green Day album Dookie was a re-recording of a song from a previous album? Ooh, ooh, god damn it! Fuck, I don't know any song off of Dookie. Not a single you one. Mother <laughs> Not a single one. I'm uh, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Imagining the Dookie version of that song. <laughs> Well, it's about 100 beats per minute faster. It's there, are no, there are no acoustic guitars. Okay. For, for absolutely zero points, does anyone else want to tell us Make what the answer is? God have mercy on your that, soul. Yeah. <laughs> I would not have got that either, August. Yeah, you want to quiz me on Green Day? I yeah, I'm a, a fountain, a fountain of useless knowledge. Green Day. Okay, <laughs> next up is uh, me asking Morgan my question oh, eleven. God. Oh Christ! Okay. Oh, okay. So, all right. Okay. Question eleven. Name any one of the twelve albums that were nominated for the 2019 Mercury Prize. One of the UK's oh. most prestigious music awards. Oh, I know this. I Any know. one of the twelve albums nominated for last year's Mercury Prize in the UK. Morgan definitely knows at least some of them. Yeah, I'm sure I do. What I don't know is what the hell the Mercury Prize was before five was seconds that ago. Thing that, uh, that just, the, Morgan, the Morgan. last band we did a thing on don't, d- almost d- won but didn't. Just, everything, everything. Just, shut up a minute. I'm you helping you. Morgan. No, you're not. You albums from <laughs> Fuck off. UK albums from 2019. Okay. So think of one of those. And, and I've mentioned one of them on the podcast in one of our previous episodes already. Yeah. That helps. I know, Morgan, that you've heard at least two of these. Uh, I can, hang on. Somebody turn off the fucking music. I'm trying. Hang on. I hit the wrong button. Hit a button and it's... He's trying to Google computer. the answers and it yeah. turned a yeah, longer song. confirmed. He's, he's definitely trying. Where is that even coming from? Okay. okay, so it's like, is this album that were released in 2019 and then given awards in 2019 as well? Well, they, res- they were nominated in 2019, but I will tell you that I'm pretty sure most, if not all of these, are 2019 albums. Okay, so was Joy oh, no, as no, no, an act- one of them, at least one of them is a 2018 album, but... Most of them are 2019. He was about to say a correct answer. <laughs> okay, was it Joy is an Act of Resistance by Idols? <laughs> that is a correct oh, answer. Oh, thank God. Ah. Well done. Morgan, <laughs> what album would you like to put forward? 
Vulcan. Uh, I'm gonna throw in. Uh, huh. Uh, DJ Shadows introducing. Ooh, and, uh, ooh on my nice. List. So, nice. Now I gotta cross that out. Very good. Okay, so uh, next up is Jake asking Sersha question eleven. Ooh, okay, this will be interesting. Eleven, you said? Yeah. Okay. This, uh, you get a mulligan on this question because it, you I, have I get to a, pick two. A mulligan? Yes. A two. Okay. You, you have to pick two names. And Morgan is going to flip the fuck out because he definitely knows the answer to this question. Which two artists contributed guest oh. vocals on the song Fair Weather Friends by Queens of the Stone Age? <laughs> Multiple choice question. A, Elton John. B, Dave Grohl, C, Adam Granduciel, D, Trent Reznor. Okay. I know this, I think. Uh, I, I doubt it's Elton John. Uh, I, f I think I've heard the song. Um, in fact, I probably have because I listened to loads of that band. Um, Dave Grohl's likely, but that could easily be a troll answer. Um, I feel very doubtful about Elton John. Um, uh, I'm going to say, hmm, Mr. Mr. Grohl. I'm going to look at it like an idiot. Mr. Grohl and the third man whose name I can't remember. Adam Grinduciel of the War on Drugs is the third. Oh, the War on Drugs. I know them. Okay. Um, both of those answers. <laughs> Yeah, you picked the two wrong you answers. You picked the two wrong <laughs> answers. So Sersha immediately loses. So Sersha immediately I, loses. It's Elton John and Trent Reznor. I would have. I I noticed you. I noticed uh, Morgan nodded his head when you said Elton John. So that's how I got the feeling. <laughs> yeah, like we're all on camera here, guys. If, if, if you listen to the song, it is impossible to not guess Elton John. Yeah, he's okay. on there. Um, all right, next up, let's move on, is uh, August asking me question 11. All right, this is going to be a pretty open-ended one. Uh, name three subgenres of country. Oh, okay, just any three. Any three. Uh, well, bro country. <laughs> um, uh, um, Morgan and I are like... I am just uh, sitting here. Um, <laughs> uh, like country fused with hip hop, but I don't know like I'm, what the word is. Like trap country? I don't know. Trap country. Is that one? <laughs> because uh, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll, I guess I'll say it. Well, country infused with hip hop is definitely a thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, well, so this is a Georgia closer. line type B. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that's close enough that I'm not gonna. Push All right, and I need a third name. one now. I need a third one. So. Um, oh, it's so easy. It is. Like, <laughs> is. Is folk country distinct enough from country to be a thing? No, I, I don't know if I'd say country so. folk. Country folk. That's that's called Americana. Well, Americana. That, that, that that's thing. what I was gonna say. Okay, <laughs> I I will give you that one by virtue of. Uh, Morgan telling you it was Americana. Well, I know that I was going to say Americana. Like I, I just no. That's that's fair. Yeah, he was Bruce I knew he, Springsteen. I, I knew he was going to get there. That was the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> and you just um, had to name subgenres. I just wanted to be able to nominate one record um, so far. All right, so I'm going to nominate XTC Skylarking. I figured. Yeah. Good um, choice. That is my first nomination. Okay, so uh, our, uh, next, um, our next random number hell. is 37. And the first 37 is um, Sersha asking Jake. Oh, All right, God. I've got to get up the answers to this because... Oh, yes, I'm so glad I didn't many. get this last time. <laughs> oh, this is funny. No, sorry. Let me just get up the answers. Um, 
Do you want to read the question while you look them up so he has some time to think? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, all you have to do is name one song off of the 1998 B-Sides compilation album by Oasis. Oh, damn it. God damn it. <laughs> um, B-Sides. So, God, there's probably no... I'm, I'm probably not lucky enough to get any demos off of the normal songs. Um, well, uh, can, I, can I give him a hint? Depending on I mean, I literally know. don't fucking know. Have you heard anything off of the deluxe edition of What's the Story? Yeah, I think I have it on my iPod. Okay, well, it's, there are some tracks on there that are on the master plan. <sighs> Motherfucker, I still don't know. All right, well. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I give up. We've got, got a lot of questions to get through, so we might have to try and like, do, a quick, do this yeah, as quick fire as possible. All right, so let, let's, let's say that Jake got that wrong. Um, mm. There were 14 different options. The album's called The Master Plan, um, and that's one of them. Um, yeah. yeah. You could have just said the name of the album. <laughs> well, you didn't oh, know the name of the mother. album. Well, you Fucker. said the, the name of the album. See, this is why we needed multiple choice. But The Master no. you had 14 choices. Eat my uh, entire asshole. Okay, next up is uh, me asking August my question. You still got more questions right than me. <laughs> okay, so August. Which influential electronic musician composed the score to the film Blade Runner? <gasps> I know this. Oh, okay. Dang it. How, how do you. Oh, come on, son. Come on, buddy. You have failed. Somebody man. else I could have stolen. What a <laughs> weird <laughs> twist of irony that this is the, que only, the question that only August doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. The is, electronic is, musician question. He has oh, failed Lord. me. As a as a film boy and a music boy at the same time. Yep, I am disappointed. And an electronic in... boy. Uh, you want to guess? Musician, you said though. Mm -hmm. No, a fucking in... statue. Yes, a musician. As in singular? <laughs> oh, no. no, as in singular <laughs> artist. Yes, I'll get yes, a singular artist. Okay. Oh shit. Um, Philip Glass. Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. I the know right that's answer not is right. anyone? Uh, Vangelis. 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 Van oh, I, was, I, I wouldn't have I gotten that. So. Oh, no. Okay, next yeah. up uh, is uh, Jake asking Morgan, question 37. Um, uh, you'll probably get this. All right, multiple choice, Morgan. What is the highest selling Led Zeppelin album? A. Led Zeppelin 2. B. Houses of the Holy. C. Led Zeppelin 4. Or D. Physical Graffiti. Uh, it's got to be 4. That is correct. Well done. Yay. Yeah. I'm uh, proud of you, honey. Yay. Uh, what is your and, second album? Suggestion. In the Suggestion. spirit of that, I will nominate Houses of the Holy. Hey, the best Led Zeppelin album. That is Very fat. Good. Very yep. good. All right. Fuck so, Anthony, Fant Anthony. Okay, yes. so Very next, good up, to do, um, next up is August ask, asking Sersha, question 37. Oh, I'm going to get right. this wrong. Time to embarrass myself some more. Name three uh, bands or artists that hail from Tyler's homeland of New Zealand. Oh, ah, that's an easy question. Surely she can think of three. I can't think of I one. Know. I can't think of a single one. <laughs> um, I, th I think Lord is from New Zealand. Oh, well, that's, that's right. I think Lord with a... Tyler, li lick your butt. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I got You got two more. two more. Two um, more. Two more. Ow. From New Zealand. Fuck. Um, I wish I got this question. <laughs> No, that's why I'm <laughs> glad you did it. Um, can I get a third of a band for that? No. Uh, <laughs> I would name three bands and we'd all be like, sure, uh, I, I, I'll take your word for it. Sure, I they're guess. from New Zealand. I think uh, yes, there's uh, like a Jermaine garage. Clement. Wait, what did you say? She had an answer. I said Jermaine Clement. Um, <laughs> What band well, is he in? What band he's is done he? Solo, he's done solo music work. But the, he's the in... Like the Concords. 
There we go. I mean, you could give there that we go. two super two. artists, I guess, on, a, on technicality. That's and we, time is of the essence. So yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, whatever. Just take it. <laughs> Have it. Ow! <laughs> I'll take it. It'll do. Um, and I'm gonna do uh, this. So did I get that right? Just to clarify. Yeah, um, yeah sure. Okay. Oh, so wait. I'm gonna pick. Well, you know what. He technically doesn't have an album credit to, credited to Jermaine Clement. He's be well. like, Lord was six. technically born in Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to choose this, this band because I don't think anyone else will, and I think they're pretty fucking stellar. So I'm going to do um, Only Revolutions by Biffy Clyro, which is one of my favorite albums. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. So next up is uh, Morgan asking me question thirty-seven. Oh, okay. Uh, who is the current drummer for Pearl Jam? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Well, I know the the I know Eddie Vedder and Stone Gossard like the main guys, but I don't know if I know their drummer's name. Is it like Bruh. Chad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the virgin um, singer. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, Matt Cameron, formerly of Soundgarden. Oh, right. Yeah, I know him. Very good. I would have never got his <laughs> Do name. Do you know him? Do you? Know him? Personally. Do All right. you truly? <laughs> Let's dumb. move on. We've done the, the, we've done the sequence once now, so we're going to redo the sequence. Uh, okay. The next random number is uh, 16. Oh. Uh, and first up is me asking Jake. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So question uh, 16. Oh, okay. This is a good one. The Mars oh. Volta. Oh. The Mars Volta received the Grammy Award for Best Hard Rock Performance for a song on which of their albums? I know it. I'm pretty sure I know it, but I won't say. Please Bethlehem and Goliath. Us. That's the correct answer. That is it. Yes. <laughs> And do you know what song they won it for, Ow. too, Jack? It, it was Elenia. It was oh, Elenia. was it? Okay. No, it wasn't? Was it? I, no, I, I, I said right. that. No, it was Wax Simulacra. Yes, I, I appreciate I, your enthusiasm only, there, August. I was going to try and see if Jake knew that. I only say that because I no, have a right. question on here involving the mm. best-selling Mars Volta album, which may, came as a surprise to me. And uh, My the, the, the album I will pick is... Oh, I might as well. Fear of a Blank Planet by Porcupine Tree. Very good. That's it. That one out. <laughs> All right, next up is... Um, next up is Jake asking August, question 16. Oh, dear. What question is this? Question 16. Oh, 16. 16. Um, Thank you. Oh, uh, this is one that only Morgan would know. Or, right. or Sersha, actually. Wow, okay, consider but... everyone when you write questions, Jake. <laughs> Ex I did, which is why <laughs> I designed this. Best. Okay. okay, what is the best-selling album by the, br the band Brand New? Is it A, Your Favorite Weapon, B, Science Fiction, C, The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me, or D, Deja on Tandu. Mm. I have an educated guess, but I don't know if it's right. Yeah, no, okay. I, same here. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, hmm. oh, boy. This man is Googling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say... <laughs> Literally, just pick something. Yeah. I, no, I'm trying to. I I am what, trying to like narrow it down in my head because I have. What's the most you've ever lost on a Deja on <laughs> That's what I. Would that is correct. Yeah. That's mm. what I'm nice. mm. okay. All right, August. Hit me. First, I gotta recommend an album. Let's not. Yep. Oh, <laughs> hit me. Recommend away. Into that. Uh, wait, with your rhythm stick. So let's do. Uh, you know. 
Let's just get another one out of the way. Uh, oh. France is the mute by the Mars Volta. Oh, nice. Yeah, I get to cross that very, off my list. Very good. All right, next up is August asking Morgan, question 16. Oh, shit. Okay, I think you'll get this one. What Mars Volta album? <laughs> name, <laughs> name three members of the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, oh. Old Dirty Bastard, Rizza, and Gizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll accept it. It's close King, enough. King King Giza and the Lizard King Wizard. Giza and the Lizard. Giza. <laughs> okay. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Giza. Giza. Oh, that's so much worse than what I thought it was. But that, that makes it that makes it funnier. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 trouble will find me by the National. Oh, big nice. well Pick Morgan Diaz. Nice. I support this choice. Very good. Um, okay, so next up is um, Morgan asking Morgan me. Morgan asking Sersha. Yes. Sorry, what question was it again? 16. Number 16? Okay, All right. Uh, who sings with Oscar Isaac on the Inside Lewin Davis soundtrack? That's a lot of people do. Which like which one okay, do you want to pick? Okay, so uh, on Fairly Well specifically. Fair, oh, Marcus Mumford. That is correct. Damn it! Nice. Very all, quick. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Um, I'm going to pick. I'm tempted to pick a certain album to parody Jake's, but I'm just going to get one out of the way that I just want to be on here, and it's uh, Transgender Dysphoria Blues by Against Me. Awesome. And another one goes off my list. I just want to point out at this point that uh, everyone has put forward three albums, except for me, who's only put forward one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so uh, let's. I mean, I designed can... all of my questions specifically for Tyler to get wrong. So let's see if we can change that. All right, Sersha, you're asking me now. Oh, can't wait. Okay, so question sixteen is: What is the name of the building? that the pig is floating over on the cover of the album Animals by Pink Floyd. Okay, 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 let me think. Uh, it's a, okay. I think it's like a power station or something. Um, I do know the name of it and it's just not quite there. I can, I can give you a clue. Yeah. I, it might not help, but I can give you a clue. Um, it's better see. the location. Better see, better see power, power station. station? Yeah, that's it. You got it right. Yeah. Fantastic. Hey, two. Uh, the fun fact I was about to throw out is it's where they filmed the climax of Brazil. Yes. Yeah, oh, cool. Well. Ah. Um, okay, okay, so I am going to nominate, put forward, uh, because of course I am, I'm going to put forward um, <laughs> Confield by Autica. Yeah. We have nice. the obligatory Autica pick. That's why I love everybody. We can forget about it. It's done. All right. Yep. Uh, okay. The next random number. The next random number is twenty. Oh, oh twenty. Question twenty, everyone. First up is August asking Jake. Oh fuck me. Name. Oh, this one. Should, this one goes off the theme of our last question. Name three members from Pink Floyd. Oh. <laughs> uh, David Gilmore, um, Roger Waters, and Sid Barrett. There you go. There you yes! Go. Okay. That I was... remembered that while drunk. I'm going to consider that a good um, win. It's a, it's a W. I'm going to contribute. Uh, like Clockwork by Queens of the Stone Age. Ah! Very cool. Love it. Very cool. Right, I think very is, cool, um, like the characters on that Red Letter Media show, I have to tell you. Oh, uh, very cool. Next up the, is Morgan asking August. Just, question uh, 20. He's going to know this one. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Uh, who drums on the Mars Volta album D Last in the Comatorium? Oh. Who drums? Uh huh. Shit. Are you winning, son? <laughs> no. No. I can't remember. Because I'm a loser. Who you give up? Yes. Uh, it's John Theodore. Okay. Dang it. 
Darn you. Yeah, you grow. Oh, it's me. It's me. <laughs> That's the drummer on Like Clockwork, the album I just recommended. Yeah. Right, need to stop there. Right. Um, it's it's me asking me. Jordan. Which question? Oh. 20. 20. All right. Um, which musician has been directed as an actor by both Claire Denis and Guy Ritchie? Oh, my. Uh, Andre 3000? That's the correct answer. Weird. <laughs> I knew it was going to be in that one fucking movie that he made. Guy Ritchie, fuck. <laughs> um, all right, Revolver and Highlight. Club, what a club rip off, off ass, bitch. All right, I'm going to toss in uh, Miles Davis in a silent way. Oh, so hey. good. Oh, well, I guess that good eliminates line. my Miles Davis entry. Well, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was going to I was going to nominate in a silent way as well. Very good. No, that's Wait, good which one was I gonna nominate? Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Kind right, of to I was gonna nominate to bitches gallows. brew because I'm a bitch. Oh. All right. Next up, Morgan asking Sersha. Wait, which number? Twenty. Twenty. Oh, I just. I oh, just no, it's uh, not Morgan asking me. I just it's asked August asking twenty. Me. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It's Tyler, it's Tyler asking me. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. You fool. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm reading the wrong. I'm reading the wrong row of the ordering because I'm stupid. Yes, oh, all right. It's fine. Um, me asking. So it's a question twenty. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. So. Oh, okay. The Falls song "I Am Demo Suzuki" refers to the frontman of which influential German band of the 1970s? Kraftwerk. No, it is Can. Oh fuck. Can. Well, okay. it was a good guess. Yes. You made all that shit up. None of that is real. <laughs> um, okay, unfortunately, it looks like Jake is deceased. No, I'm not deceased. I just you, pee. Okay. Do you have your questions on hand? <laughs> you have to ask Tyler a question, Jake. Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on a second. How many different lead singers did the band Black Sabbath go through? A, five, B, four, C, three, or D, two? Um. <laughs> the answer, by the way, it's, it's, it is five, four, three, and two. To okay. simplify it. Well, I would have, before, before you asked me this question, I would have just assumed it was only the one. Um, well, but clearly oh, not. honey. Oh, honey. No, you got that, a big that, storm coming. That tells me it's probably not two either because it sounds like it's a large number. So I will say um, either four or five. I will say. You had a pick. Four. That is correct. Nice. Oh, yes. Good job, Tyler. Tyler. Also, listen to more Black Sabbath. Jesus Wait, I've heard. Christ. I've heard um, the title. Their title album. Their name. Their self-titled album. I've heard. Paranoia, listen to Master, heard of Master of Reality, of you whore. Master of Reality. I've heard held. that one. Bob rules. Volume four. I'm, I'm working up. through their stuff. Um, okay, so my next. Uh, oh, my favorite bits. My next uh, album for the for the poll is going to be The Mollusk by Ween. Yay, of course, Ween. Of course. Well, I'm starting yet... off with the albums that no one else is going to put out there. So. Yeah, I was going to yep. say, I have yet to cross off a single album of Tyler's. Yeah. <laughs> I've got plenty of things that are beloved by you guys, but someone else will probably sell them. So. Uh, all right. Hi. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Our next number is uh, 15. So oh. when I say this, our <laughs> next number is like, get your questions highlighted so you don't have to ask me only again. morgan will know this one um all right so first up is morgan asking jake god damn it oh okay uh what is the name of the first hotel your album oh um it's not i was gonna say there is a light that never goes out it's the the what you're not far off the right answer well, You're I really mean, not. okay, but like, it's not the one that I like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, um, that narrows um, it down. 
it's the fucking oh god like i remember when i listened the fucking to all is these not albums the and then morgan was just like uh, it's fine it was like it's like half of that it's like it light never goes out it never goes out is, there is we it go. okay okay. It. okay it never goes out okay i was, I I was really counting on either august having that or jake having it but having dementia i mean i do <laughs> i mean I, do, I have severe brain damage yeah you, okay. you know so, Jake, album i will contribute is death consciousness by have a nice life very good very good okay next up is um Sersha asking august all right well he's gonna get this wrong yeah, no offense. You, yeah, you think this is my second run the jewels question. Oh, um, I have a run the jewels question. Well, I've got a chance here, marginally, but a chance. Which, which song? Wait, okay. From which song was sampled the "Ooh La La Are We We" in "Ooh La La" by Run the Jewels? Good luck. I don't even oh, know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The, um, it's by a band called Gang Stark. Um, what an obscure called... question. D W Y C K. You're just Arthur's going sister. with obscure ass questions. Has anyone got that's a question real question? Sir, sure, right. All right, next up, it's my turn to ask Morgan. Lots of people have gotten questions by me, right? What are you talking yeah. about? Uh, sure. Okay, my sure. question for Morgan is. Name any one of the 69 love songs on the Magnetic Field 69 love wow. songs. Wow. Uh, all my little words. Yep, perfect. Bam, oh, you go. got it. Okay. It's like that was designed for him and huh. literally no one else because I haven't listened to that fucking album yet. I'm right. sorry. Morgan, uh, your next recommendation. I'm going to nominate Opeth's Blackwater Park. God fucking damn it. Well, very good. Checkmate, okay. atheist. Very on brand. I don't okay. know. I don't know uh, why you're mad. Because I was gonna know. nominate Damnation, you fuck. Jake's oh. turn to ask. Blackwater Saoirse. Park's better. So who am I asking? Jake Saoirse. asks Sersha. What number 15. is it? Fifteen. 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 Okay, Sersha. What is the best-selling Porcupine Tree album? A. The Incident. Uh, B. Light Bulb Sun. C. In Absentia. D. Fear of a Blank Planet. Okay. Um, I've listened to these albums, but um, I have no idea as to the pop cultural cachet. Um, so this is going to be a pot guess. Um, uh, could you read the list to me again? A is The Incident. B not. is light bulb sun. C is in absentia, and D is fear of a blank planet. And yes, these are the four best-selling albums by the band in a different. Thought world. they would be. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna go with light bulb sun. That is incorrect. The best-selling album is, in fact, the incident. The last it. album. Because they oh, are. Don't. They don't. That is like when they got big. Yep. Ish. And, and then, then they, they stopped making music. They just, and they just bailed. Dang, I would have I would have guessed uh in absentia if only yeah, for right? it's gonna, it's gonna be my second guess. Yeah, yeah, so yeah the incident, which is one of their like all right albums and Okay, you know. Next up, moving along swiftly. August It is how uh, it is. August asks me. Could you Okay. This is gonna be a fun one. Which Star Trek cast member released this notably terrible spoken word on. I know. I know. <laughs> I know it. I know it. You said this notably terrible spoken uh, word. I should. I should have said. Uh, just name name the person who made the album. I believe that it is William Shatner. That is correct. <laughs> it is William yeah, Shatner. That's right. <laughs> not not a difficult question oh. when you consider it contextually. God, it's a um, nightmare. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I've listened it's to like bad. three songs from that album. I might, uh, I might recommend it honestly. For uh, I swear I to God, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you Tyler, drive to Nebraska yeah. and shove a corn cob down your throat. Tell me the an ne- album, Tyler. The next album I'm going to put up is um... Autiker. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, uh, <laughs> 
A Love Supreme by Coltrane. Ooh. Yay. We don't have another Coltrane right. one, do we? Already? We got no, we Jess. had a Davis. Uh, all right. I think. Yeah, we got Miles Davis right. and uh, What's the, new the other guy. Number Tyler. Just... Next number is 14. 14. 14. All right, and first up is um, oh, me asking Jake. Aww. Okay. Strawberry Jam and Centipede Hurts are records by which beloved indie act? I don't know. Fucking Arcade Fire. Is that your answer? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking no, man. No. That's funny. No one knows you, the answer to this question? I know what it is. Is it like Ween? It's Animal Collective. It is Animal oh, Collective. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What the hell? hell? Be what the I'm hell is an Animal You're Collective? Um, listen to Meriwether Post Pavilion, you fake shit. You can't tell when you listen to them. You didn't even fucking recognize their albums. <laughs> Good point. Good fucking point. They call me okay. fake. How many times have I sat on here? I don't vibe with psychedelic music. You go to hell. <laughs> Jake, Jake, it's your turn to ask August question. Oh, fuck. Okay. What, what question? 14. 14. 14. August. Ooh, this is interesting. Which uh -oh. of the big four of Thrash has the least net worth? A, Metallica. B, Megadeth. C, Anthrax. D, Slayer. This has got to be a trick question. I'm going to say it's Anthrax. Is Megadeth actually? Oh, I knew it was the Me trick question. Me Metallica has three hundred million. Megadeth has one point eight million. Anthrax has six million, and Slayer has eight million. How does Megadeth? How is Megadeth worth one point eight million? Probably because he's Dave Mustaine's a fucking moron. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so he didn't get that one right. So um, Damn it. August asking Morgan. Well, Morgan's gonna get this one. I know for a, if you get this one wrong, I will forever be embarrassed. But I know you're gonna get it. Name no three pressure. progressive rock bands from the oh. '60s and or '70s. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pink three. Floyd, Yes, and King Crimson. There you go. It was a question Congratulations. With, it was a question designed with the hope that uh, either Sersha you, got it. That Sersha got it pretty much. Yep. Yeah, Sersha could do that. I mean, come um, on. Morgan, your next album. Uh I am gonna have we nominated an Everything Everything album yet? No. We have no. not. Okay, then just throw Get to Heaven on there then. Yeah! I get to cross that off my list. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Morgan asking Sersha question 14. Okay, I am in serious doubt she's going to get this one. <laughs> uh, no what, is the know what is the name of the band that serves as collaboration between Dan Barrett and Tim McCuga? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Not going to get that. Move on. <laughs> it's Have a Nice Life. Fair enough. You said Dan Very Barrett, good. and I was just like, <gasps> Very good. All right. Uh, next up is Sersha asking me question 14. All right. Question 14. Um, I right. doubt very much you're going to get this. Um, which Leonard Skinner song? <laughs> Fuck off, Sersha. <laughs> Inspired <laughs> Billy Joe Armstrong to write American Idiot. I don't oh. know any songs. Oh, present. wait, I know this! Pass. It passed. Um, it's yeah. called That's How I Like It. Um, and it's the, the, it's yeah. late era Skinner, and it yeah. is horrendous. The, the story it's is that Billy Joe Armstrong listened to it Thompson on the radio. Video. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, Billy Joe Armstrong listened to it, and he was like, this is a song being like, I'm proud to be like a redneck <laughs> idiot. I hate that. I'm going to write... American yeah, American. that's what it, Billy Joel just said. No. All right. Okay. So the next random number is eight. Uh, and oh, first eight. up is August asking Jake. God damn it. All right. Okay. So number eight. How many members of the Beach Boys actually surfed? 
Ooh. Two. Wrong. One. Ah, oh, get <laughs> out. Get the uh, fuck out. My glove. Let me see if I can... Was it wasn't the shot. fucking dude that... Uh, I know exactly... It's gonna be so funny if it's my glove. Fox Mulder didn't play No, it's him. Dennis Wilson. Oh, okay. That's the that's, one. That's a, that's a more reasonable answer. Of course. Um, Mike Love never did a thing in his life. Um, <laughs> all right, next up is uh, Morgan asking August, question number eight. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> between we need to get it wrong. <laughs> okay, between the... <clears throat> Excuse me. Between the Buried and Me got their name from a lyric written by another band. What band did they get their name from? And brownie points if you can name the song. I can't name the song. You didn't even get a genre? Like, wow. Uh, um, they're from the early 90s. My favorite genre. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> they, uh, Alice in Chains. That is incorrect. I knew it was. <laughs> It is Counting Crows, and the song is called Ghost Train. I would have never guessed that. No, you would not have. And I, if I did, if I didn't like look up trivia about that band, I wouldn't have either. Yes, That's all right. right. Okay. Sersha, your turn to ask Morgan question eight. Question eight. Oh, what fresh hell which, is this going to be? <laughs> which Broadway show did uh, Bon Iver singer Justin Vernon contribute to the creation of? What the fuck? Broadway show. <laughs> I'm learning so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Hades Town? Yes. Ah, what? <laughs> Wait! Is that right? <laughs> That's the right answer. Uh, but, so the con- <laughs> Basically, in the original album, he played Orpheus and he was a sound engineer on it. Holy shit! Bruh. <laughs> okay. Morgan, your seventh recommendation, please. All right. <laughs> I've done three. Uh, let's do The Cure's Disintegration. Fuck yeah, yeah, off my list. Very good. Okay, good next up choice. is um, me asking Sersha question eight. Uh, and it is. Can't wait. Oh, I'm so glad that we got this. Um, the indie supergroup Boy Genius <gasps> consists of Phoebe Bridgers, Julian Baker, and which other singer songwriter? I'm going to be really honest, Tyler. Those are the two I knew. Um, I know, that's why oh, well. I did it this way. Now, uh, I have, now, now I have to delete one of my questions. Yeah. Because oh, mine fuck. was exactly the same. Oh, you fucking... This is so annoying. I know the two you said. I hate this. Um, uh... I had already deleted that question because I thought it was too easy. <laughs> well, this serves Sersha right because it is an easy question and it serves her right for writing really hard ones. Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. That's I'll true. I'll accept this. I came into here saying that I know I would get very basic shit wrong because mm-hmm. just mm, mm, trivia God, in music ain't my strength, but that's fine. God, I wish that were me. Um, okay. Mm. Um, someone put her out of her misery. Lucy Dacus. Mm. Lucy Dacus. Mm. That, that is what it is. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Jake asking me a question number eight. Oh, number eight. Okay. Tyler. What is the highest selling album of 2019? Is it A, Billie Eilish's When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? B, Taylor Swift's Lover? C, Drake's Scorpion? Or D, Ariana Grande's Thank You Next? This is a mostly revolting list. Uh, it's, it's, I think no, it's it definitely between Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift. Um, it's really hard to judge though um, I'm gonna say It's probably gonna be fucking Drake 
Yeah. I'm just going to say, like, I think it might be Billie Eilish, but I think also the Swifties might have pulled it. So I'm going to say Taylor Swift lover. Uh, it's Billie Eilish. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, Tyler. You were close. That was the top four, though. So, yeah. I mean, you, you, still, you still narrowed it down. I'm proud of you, honey. Was Taylor Swift the second one? Yes, Taylor Swift was the second one. Drake was three, and uh, Ariana Grande was four. So you just Drake sold more albums than Ariana Drake. Grande. Yeah, I know, right? You just read them out in order, and I still didn't get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so the next number is 17, and uh, first up is Morgan asking Jake. Oh. <laughs> oh, he laughed. What is the name of post-punk band Interpol's fourth album? <laughs> oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> this is Jake, so funny. Jake, you can guess this. You can. <laughs> Interpol? Yes. <laughs> Damn it, Tyler. You gave him that one. Why did you give that to him? You you did because it. I'm <laughs> inhebriated. He's um, he was going to fuck around for two uh, minutes. Anyway. I am going to pick. I'm gonna be uh, uh, I'm gonna be a teenage bitch, and I'm gonna say, um, "Like home, no place there is" by the Hotelier. Nice, nice, good job at not getting the album title correct. Eat my ass. Anyway, very good. Yeah, you know it's it's better you helped him. Um, I was, next up I is uh, Sersha asking August questions. Fuck you! He's that's not gonna my get answer. It. That's my answer. He's, he, he's okay. not gonna is get it. it. I am? Okay. Well, no, you're not. You're not. You're not. It's a My Chemical Romance question. Come on. <laughs> well, fuck you. Then here's my answer. My answer to your question is fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> that is my answer. Don't ask. Can we so go ask, ask, we've got ask, listeners ask, who ask want to hear questions. the questions as well. Ask the question. All right. Okay. Uh, there are two possible correct answers to this, one of which you can guess, definitely. Um, what was going to be the title of the fifth of the fifth? My Chemical Romance album before they broke up. I fucking know this one. Do you want to guess, August? My Chemical Romance. <laughs> oh, you're so close to a possible correct answer. Um, so I, I, have, I have the working title within the band and the publicly stated working title. The um, one that the band said to each other, if I can find my sheet of paper, that'd be lovely, was Paper Kingdom, but the public one was MCR5. Oh, yeah. 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 Wouldn't have got Always that. taste to guess. Uh, all right, next up is... Um, where the fuck? Okay, me asking Morgan. Okay, so yeah. the question is question 17. Okay. Name one of the top five highest reviewed major albums of 2019, according to Metacritic. Fuck. One of the five highest reviewed albums, of, major albums of 2019. Uh, uh, thank You Next by Ariana Grande. I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not thank you next again these are highest reviewed not highest selling i thought this would be easier but apparently not i don't um, pay attention to fucking metacritic who the fuck does so in order the top five are nick cave ghosting ah oh, fuck you wise blood titanic rising little sims gray area michael kiwanuka kiwanuka and jamila woods legacy legacy but yeah, you didn't get any of them, so that's fine. I'm aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake. Jake, oh. you're asking Sersha a question. You're 17. Me. 17. Okay, Sersha, what is Hello. the best selling Talking Heads album? Is it A, Little Creatures, B, Remain in Light, C, 77, or D, Speaking in Tongues? Mm. If I was to make an educated guess, it would be, um, what was the second option? Remain in light. 
Mm, educated guess, it would probably be uh, Talking Head 77, I would say. Uh, it is probably Little wrong. Creatures. Oh, fuck off. Yes. <laughs> I would have guessed that. That was the worst thing. I knew I knew Tyler and Morgan and maybe August would have gotten that. So I'm it was I'm, between I'm a bit proud. it was between speaking in tongues and little creatures because that was when they were at their biggest. Like they had really yep. big mm. successful singles on yeah. speaking in tongues. So the next album sold really well. Um, mm. Okay, next up mm. is uh, August asking me. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> oh Tyler. no. Name two studio albums by Hootie and the Below Fish. <laughs> <laughs> and they, I mean, they, they probably, they might have a self-titled, um, but I don't think I could pull a second one out of my ass, so I can't do it. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Do you, do you want to know all the potential answers? Not really. Not really. Uh, yeah, not really. On. No one is Fairweather Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, you also okay. could have said a cracked, cracked rear rear view mirror. Those that's a were Pearl Jam compilation. Anyway, um, no, that's that's just rear view mirror. I know. What's, rear what's, rear what's rear a new number title? This is a stupid joke. Okay, the next random number is thirty-eight. Oh. Um, first up is Sersha asking Jake. All right, number 38. Sorry, Jake. Um, oh, this is a fun one. Oh, you'll get this. I um, probably won't, but okay. What is the sample on Bittersweet Symphony by The Verb? Oh, it's a Rolling Stones song. Yeah, but which one? I don't that know. Should, because should be an acceptable answer, Sersha. This is way too I, I, I don't obscure. know because it's not, it's not a hit. I just know it's a okay. Rolling Stones song. I, I expected you to get it because it was the basis of a very major milestone in copyright law. But and we discussed fine. it on the podcast. Yeah, I just know that it was... Yeah. Well, I we had the same the question, except right, it just fine. required the band. That's fine. You can have the Rolling Stones. Um, the song was the last time. Oh, the everybody's favorite Rolling Stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyway, uh, pick A. Oh, right. um... I'm gonna pick Bad Motor Finger by Soundgarden. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh. Now I have to cross I off Super Unknown. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, for what it's worth, I think Super Unknown would do better in polls, but. It, what was it, the name of the album? It would, but I'm bad, a bitch. It's called what Bad Motor Finger. Bad Motor Finger, thank you. You just screwed Soundgarden. I want you to know that. Yeah, well, that's that's the people's fault, and not mine. Look, oh, no, it's, head, it's your head, fault. I hit down on the upside. So here I and lick my ass, I Morgan. Well, just, do you think I won't? Do it. I just, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna okay, get the COVID. Next up, next up is me asking August question thirty-eight. Oh no! Um, Kill me I think, now. I think August will get this. Um, come to Daddy and Window Licker were unexpected hits for which underground electronic musician of the 90s? Apex Twin. Yeah, it is Apex mm. Twin. Well done. Good Thank job, you. August. You're the only person who would have got that. Just, just making shit I, up. I, 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 I'm gonna, I, I did they were legit, know that, legitimately to be mainstream singles. No, yeah, they were. No, no, I, I, I knew that. Um, oh, well, then, sir, should Yeah, you. because you're British. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Racist? Okay, August, your Maybe. next recommendation, please. You know, I feel I want to get in just a uh, one for me. Let's do uh, Tsunami by Shinsei Kamate Chan. That is going to lose so quickly. I'm sorry, August. <laughs> no, I don't care. I Just by virtue of putting the name out there, more people no, will. No, I, I respect it. I respect it. Can, can we uh, do we? Are we keeping track of uh, who's gotten the most questions right? Yeah, I think Tyler I'm keeping is. track of this. Yeah, oh, I'm so doing far, abysmally uh, because yeah, so I would far, like to know. So far, Jake and Morgan are in the lead. They both got seven right. Uh, <clears> then, um, yeah. Me and August have both got four right, and then sergio has got three right. I've got three. So not doing that badly. That's fine. Yeah, let's just keep plowing through this. Um, Next yeah. up is wait, who just asked? That was um, uh, it's Jake asking Morgan now, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah, it is. Oh, you're right. And what Question number? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. 
all right, Morgan. Um, <laughs> this is like one of the only questions that I designed that you wouldn't immediately get. I'm sorry. What Go is on. the highest selling hip hop album? Is it A, Nas's Illmatic, B, Eminem's The Marshall Mathers LP, C, Jay-Z's The Blueprint, or D, the notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die. It's going to be the fucking Marshall Mathers LP, isn't it? That is correct! Ugh. I know, right? It's disgusting. Ugh. I hate it. I hate uh, it. All right, I've been putting it off long enough. Let's go ahead and throw in Go Farther in Lightness. Yay! Nice. Does that qualify? Yeah. I didn't oh, know wow. if it would have had enough votes. It does. Cool. Hell awesome. yeah. That, that was like peak Sputnik core when it came out. Yeah, well, that's why I <laughs> discovered it in the first place. That's why anybody <laughs> knows about it. Awesome. All right, um, all right next up is... August has to ask uh, me a question now. August asking Sersha, yeah. All right, oh, wait, the is... fail. No, you might get this one. <laughs> Name a band or artist who will definitively only ever have one album to their name. Oh, I know. Well, oh, definitively only ever have one album to their name. Yeah, as in they're disbanded I, yeah. or they the artist is dead. Ah, uh, I do I do know some of these. None of the, I'm having a big brain stop worky moment right now. So I do Come on, honey. I do know <laughs> I do know that I do know some of the I am yeah. screaming internally. Me I know too. you are. I am so too. <laughs> ah! I so yeah no. Um, oh, I've tried. Lie. They are in my head. It is not coming to me. I'm very deeply sorry. I just thought of one. Um, Would okay. you like to give up? That's a strong way of phrasing it, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to come up with anything right now. Okay, so you're giving so that, up. So yes. <laughs> Uh, I love uh, anyone want to throw out an acceptable answer? Jeff Buckley. That was God damn it! That thinking. was what I was gonna say. I oh, love uh, I how it. you said so. You want to give up? And one of the ones I was thinking of was "Give Up" by the Postal Service. That was an I, I, intentional yeah, I, reference. I, Thank you for getting that, Tyler. I, I think I think the Million Dead only put out one album before breaking. I was also going to say, but um, they could put out another one. Well, they I put was out also going to say, may, may Stepper oh. J. Groggs rest in peace. I was also going to say, Injury Reserve. Have any mm. Mm. Oh, I, I rest would also, in peace, uh, man. Shout God out, uh, Captain Jazz would be another good <laughs> answer. Yeah. Good yep. Too. Okay. American uh, football, but wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go. Let's keep moving. Um, next up, Morgan asks me. Question oh, well, oh you sh you should be able to get this. Uh, what is the first song on Russia's Permanent Waves? <clears throat> okay. Um. See, the thing is, I love this album, but there are a lot of the albums, in terms of what songs they have on them, kind of blur together at this point in Russia's career. That's fair. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. This is the one before moving pictures, please. isn't it? Um, yep. Uh, the Spirit of Radio? That is correct. Yeah! <laughs> oh, thank God. It's the best song on the album. That's... It's a good song, yeah. Um, that's right, debatable, cool. but I, that's not a bad answer. But it's the best Rush song by uh, my Mike. Well, that's just not true. Uh, wow, it's fuck gonna off. Be... Oh, this is tough. I'm going to put um, Hounds of Love by Kate Bush in next. Ooh, Ooh another one off my nice. list. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I respect it. Get away, cat. Are you right, singing um... Sandstorm? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. But now I'm so going to... The next number is, uh, sorry, the next number is 18. Uh, and first up is me asking Jake. Um, so my question 18 is, oh, okay, this is an interesting question, I think. Um, despite being referred to as the Berlin Trilogy, only one of Bowie's three famous trio, Low, Heroes, and Lodger, was actually recorded entirely in Berlin. Which album was it? Um, God, I know this because I wrote about it. Um, it's like, uh, okay, um, 
I suppose I can't get a hint here. You've got three to choose from, so that's pretty good. I mean, you're right, but... The only one recorded entirely in Berlin. Entirely. Yeah, uh, one of the other ones was recorded partially in Berlin, and the third one was not recorded It's which in ones again? Low, Heroes, and Lodger. Heroes. The correct answer. Yay. Oh, Yay. Low was partially recorded there, and Lodger was not recorded in Germany at all. Um, well. I, was, I would have said Lodger just to wild card it. Just um, because nobody's heroes, fucking listened to be Lodger. Because Heroes has that famous story of Bowie uh, recording the title track, like looking out on the Berlin Wall. Um, yeah, if I if I got that. Right. But anyway, Jake, you got it right, so that's great. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I am going to pick. I'm gonna pick. It's the only chance he's got. I'm gonna pick "Ocean Machine Biomech" by Devin Townsend. All right, I'll cross that one off. Yeah. Very good. I'm running out. Okay. So, um, next up is Jake asking August, question 18. All right. Question 18, August. Which album, or which film based on an album made the least money? A, Pink Floyd's The Wall. B, Prince's Purple Rain. C, Talking Heads' Stop Making Sense. Or D, uh, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night? Boy, I'm pretty sure it's not Purple Rain. That seems like it would be far too financially successful, so I'm going to go with Pink Floyd's The Wall. Oh, you were close. It's Talking Heads, Stop Making yeah, Sense, which only made sense well. $5 million, whereas uh, Pink Floyd's The Wall made $22 million. Damn. Okay. Next up is August asking Morgan, question 18. Okay, this was a question engineered for you. You'll get this one, I'm sure. <laughs> How many albums did Joy Division release while Ian Curtis was alive? That would wow. Be, well, wow. Closer was technically released posthumously, so that was just one. Yep, that's it. It's one. Oh, yep. You saw the trick. Very good. Yeah. Joke. That was trick. the trick. August trick. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, I am going to nominate. Has there been a Talking Heads album nominated yet? No, I don't think so. No. Don't okay, think I'm so. gonna, I'm gonna throw in "Stop Making Sense" then. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Next up is uh, Morgan asking Sersha question eighteen. Okay. Come on, Sersha. Uh, you've got to get one now. Which... Fingers crossed. Which Iron Maiden album was the first nope. to feature their most prolific frontman, Bruce Dickinson? Yes. I, I know fuck all about Iron Maiden. Literally, just Iron name Maiden. one. Just Damn name it. one. You'll get, you could get it. It's, it's possible. Just say uh, any of them, please. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> You must know an album by Iron Maiden. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I do. I'm sure I do. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Hang on. Just give me a second. I'm gonna think about it. Um, fear. Of Number of the Beast. There we go. Ah, okay. There you go. Well, is done. it right? It is. Yeah. It's fantastic. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Our long national nightmare is over. All right, fantastic. Um, I'm going to choose um, "In the Aeroplane Over the Sea" by Neutral Milk Hotel. Oh, well, that's gonna win. <laughs> well. All right, next up, Sersha asking me question eighteen. All right, I'm very sorry. You just which I wrote two. I, I wrote two. I wrote two MCL questions, and they've, they've both come up very quickly. That's um, okay, I like, I like them. All right, which historical event inspired Jared Way to form the band? <laughs> Is it, isn't it like um, 
historical event. So like something in history, not like a well, person. Well, look, it is this no. millennia, uh, but oh, I grew up with it being history. Yeah. There you go. That's it. There yeah. It. I have read about this. Like, I didn't just guess that. Like, I have read about it. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't mm. doubt you. Yeah, I, I might have guessed Good that. Good boy. Yeah, because I think there's like some early songs of theirs that like um, refer mm-hmm. to it directly. On yeah, that one album. That's mid as hell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna let's, let me get back to my list. Uh, Please don't ask Jake. Please. I'm gonna nominate um, uh, Equimini by Outcast. Ooh, because oh, we don't have good. enough hip hop already on this list. I have hip hop records I'm going to choose. I'm just waiting to get to them. Um, uh, what's the name of the album again? Aquemini. Aquemini by Outcash. Uh, okay. Why should go with Atlians? Next up, uh, okay, new number. New random number is 29. Uh, mm. And first up is August asking Jake. Okay, let's see. Um, me. How many years? is the longest number between studio albums, and I will accept an answer to the nearest decade, to be fair to you. What? I don't understand. You, you, finish, you, finish you stopped the question. the question. How many years? Oh, what? what? Finish the, the question. question. No, I said the question. Did How I cut out? How many years is the longest between studio albums? Yeah. That is all you got out. That, what? What? That's not a question. What are you talking about? <laughs> like oh, for, really? for any band? Yeah, for any band. I what don't know, history? fucking tool between ten thousand no, days and the, fucking uh, what? That's the one with I, Numa I said on it. How, how many years? How many? I'll read the question again because how many years? is the longest number between studio albums for any band or artist I will accept to the nearest decade. That is the so dumbest wait, wait, question. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, wait, again, wait, wait. I've got, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Tool again and just say 14 years for between Fear Inoculum and 10,000 Days. I don't fucking know. Are you asking for the, lo- the longest gap in history between two albums? Yes. How That's do you even ridiculous. Know that? Hmm? It's ridiculous. I'm surprised that someone can even know that. There's so many bands. Yeah, exactly. I don't what think anybody answer? can know that definitively. Uh, there is kind of... I'm going based off what is the official kind of record as per uh, Guinness. Oh, okay. Which is, which is 43 oh, yeah. years. <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> fuck? I've got no clue. Okay. Um, interesting thing eh. that happened. That was Terrible. dumb as hell. Next You're up, dumb as Morgan hell. asked I am. August. Morgan asked August. Ask August. Sorry, Wait, what's the answer? I want to know. It was forty-three it was years. Forty-three. No, but like, years. who's the band? The uh, the artist is Linda Perhax with her album Parallelograms, released in nineteen seventy. Oh, of course. I, I know so much more now than I did five minutes ago. Um, sorry. What question number are we at again? 29. 29, okay. Uh, what is the first album by post-rock group Mogwai? Oh, I know this. Oh. It's one of my favorite albums. I can picture what it looks like, but I can't tell you the name of it. I can picture the album cover, but I don't know what it's called. Tell us do- what do- it looks like. Dost Thou Give Up? Yes. Uh, it's Young Team. Yeah, I God. wouldn't have guessed. Toby is dead now. Which is Scottish <laughs> slang, I believe, that refers to like a gang or a group of people, like young team. Probably knowing Mogwai. Um anyway, next up is Sersha asking Morgan question twenty nine. All right. Oh, Morgan God. should get this. Um oh. I wanna specify I'm talking about full length LPs and not EPs. Um because the an EP could also be the answer, but no. Um what is the name of the Mars Volta's live album? Oh, I know this. Oh, I know. Oh, oh God damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, 
It's it's something like like puncture wounds or something like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's like that, but that's fine. I no, get, he's get, not far computers. away. I know what it is. Yeah, I do this too. Is, oh, this is verified by Wikipedia, so God damn everybody's it. favorite source. This is so annoying. All right, time me up. Yeah, just call it. I don't know. That's fine. Um, it's called Scab, Scab Dates. Scab Dates. Underrated Sorry. album too. Sorry, yeah. hon. I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like I should be given that one. All right. <laughs> um, now it's my turn to ask Sersha. Question twenty-nine. Can't wait. It's be great. Uh, okay. I love it. I think you might. I think you'll probably know this actually. Uh, what was the name of the Beatles' first album, which scored the early hits with the songs Love Me Do and the title track? Uh, oh, um, it's not Hard Day's Night, is it? Is that your answer? I need to, okay, I need, well, that means it's wrong. Not, I need to well, know what your answer is. You can't ask me, it's oh, not, Hard Day's is it? Night. No, it's, it's not Hard Day's Night. night. No. Yeah, we go. It's Please, that's Please that's, Me. That's not how trivia go. works. If you, yeah. Trivia. Okay. Hard luck. I thought you would know that. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's probably because of the movie. Confuse me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, next up it's Jake asking me. All right, Tyler. Which of these progressive rock slash progressive metal musicians that have worked together in the past have a collaborative album together? <laughs> A. Mikael Ackerfelt of Opeth and Stephen Wilson of Porcupine Tree, B, Danny Carey of Tool and Adrian Bellew of King Crimson, C, Devin Townsend of Strapping Young Lad and Joe Duplantier of Gojira, and D, Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins of Genesis. Adrian Bellew. Adrian Bellend. Um, I, I'm gonna say Adrian Belly Dancer. I'm gonna say I don't know this. I'm gonna say the third one with Devin Townsend. It is not. It is A. Mikael Ackerfeld of Opeth and Stephen Wilson of Porcupine yeah, Tree. My second they have the collaborative album Storm Corrosion, which is and it is boring as shit. Mid, mid as hell. Okay. Um, all right, next random number is number one. And, oh, oh. Uh, and uh, first up is Morgan asking Jake. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, who is the bassist for Joy Division as well as New Order? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. Exactly. Tyler. Tyler. What, what does Jake not get it? Um, it's so easy. It is really easy. Uh, what's the main guy's name? Maybe it's him. Um, <laughs> shut up! Fuck you. Well, it, um, men are also bassists. Uh, uh, well, shut there's the fuck up, uh, Tyler. The I dude from you. Slayer. Uh, <laughs> I, know I don't know. Is some. it is it Peter Hook? Oh, yes. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> James, he didn't know that, and he's just pulled it out of his ass. Come oh, on. you're hustling us. <laughs> yeah, you are. I know you knew that. You're hus- You're a What's hustler your album? boy. Um. Uh. Uh. Shit. Um. Fuck. What is my album? I'm gonna pick. I'm going to pick. Elliot Smith self-titled. Not either or. Oh, nice. No, yeah. I have to cross that out. I had either or on my yeah. list. Yeah. But I think Elliot Smith's going to do good no matter what. Yeah, yeah he's, so. he's fine. He's going to do okay. I could have okay, picked from um, the basement on a Phoebe hill. Phoebe Bridges is going to find it and vote for it. Okay. Um, um, right, it's me up, Sersha now. asking August. All right. What's the debut album of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard? Uh, 12 Bar Bruises. I'll give it to you. It's not a plural, but that's fine. 
Okay. Ah, that would be I really was harsh right. if you did not give that to him. Willoughby's Beach is an EP! I'm so glad I just <laughs> out yeah. of context, that's just hilarious to me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, no, that was one where I was like, I double checked something I said on the previous episode and it was wrong, so I put it in the quiz. Yeah. yeah. All right, August, I'm your fifth that. album, I recommend your fifth album, please. Uh, you know what? Hmm. <laughs> Let's do Donuts by Jay Dilla. Oh, Ooh, nice. Good choice. Nice. That's a good choice. That'll do well. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Great <laughs> album. Uh, no Donuts for you, Morgan. All right. My oh, question man. for Morgan. Mm. Morgan, uh, I'll you Donuts. Which influential band of the 1970s originally went under the name Warsaw? I don't know this oh, Story Division. That is Joy Division. Well done. Oh. <laughs> yes. Morgan's gotten two Joy Division questions, and both right, fittingly so. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, your 10th your album. I am going to nominate uh, Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, next up is Jake asking Sersha. This is number one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is the only person who will probably not get this question. I'm sorry, Sersha. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Name, I am totally oh, secure in my lack of trivia knowledge. It's fine. Name three members, current or former, of Metallica. <laughs> um... <laughs> Lars Ulrich. Um, the other one, I can see their faces. <laughs> oh, the other you know, one. You know the guy. Yeah, you know yeah. I, I can I can picture the faces of literally the bassist, the singer, and the drummer, but their names are not coming to me. You, you um, have Lars Ulrich. That's that's one. That's that's nice. That's the drummer. Yeah, no, that, the others aren't going to happen. Uh, um, Lou Reed. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. Like, as I say again, I'm very secure in my lack of okay, the, yeah, That's All right. The, the correct answers were James Hetfield, Jason Newstead, yeah. Lars Ulrich, Dave Mustaine, Kirk Hammett, Cliff Burton, Robert Trujillo, Bob Rock, and Ron McGovney. Imagine being oh, in a rock band and calling yourself John Rock. Ron McGovney. <laughs> Um, what, a re- what a Republican ass name! <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron McGovney. I'm running for sheriff. <laughs> it's not a real person. August, your question for me, please. Oh, oh Jesus! I, I'm asking you a question. Number one. God damn it, why did you ask? You're the one who will get this like, <laughs> without blinking, without thinking. Name three electronic duos. Oh. <laughs> okay, Daft Punk, Or Ticker, um, and Boards of Canada. There you go. I would have gotten that one. I could finagle and say that Boards of Canada was technically a trio at one point, but... Nope. And then Tyler no. would have said, oh, the, fuck all, off. All the time that counts, they were a duo. Uh, no, yeah, and you're, and, you uh, are correct. So Anyway. Um, I'm not going to. Okay, my, my next contribution is going to be. Um, let me think for a sec. Uh, this is fun. The Idler Wheel by Fiona Apple. Oh, I right. have to cross off when the pawn. Ooh. And I say the full name, both of you. I don't think I can. <laughs> Literally, like the pawn is turning that. now. What's what's the <laughs> name? What, what's the new number, Tyler? What's the new, the new number? The new number is twenty-three. Um, my favorite Jim Carrey movie. And oh, uh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, oh, God, God damn it! Okay. This one's uh, so first up is Sersha asking Jake. Oh fuck me sideways! You might, you might get this. House. From what movie did did the Pixies take a key song and then cover it? I don't know, Fight Club. N- no, <laughs> it, it's it's a race ahead. Sorry. I don't know that shit, man. They did they did a version yeah. of In Heaven. Yeah. Everything is fine. But okay, that's, uh, is that a Doolittle or Surfer Rosa? I think it's Surfer Rosa. 
me yeah. asking August, um, which record is the highest selling jazz album of all time? Oh God. I, I don't, don't get a multiple oh, choice. Shit. I just got a fucking The Love Supreme. No. It is uh, Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. Everyone God, should know. Damn. I, I did. I just want that known. I, I didn't. didn't know that. I, I did not, but I probably would have guessed that just because. I wouldn't have. I know that for a certain It's not even close either. Like, it is the high, it's one of the highest selling albums. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, Okay, next up, Jake asking Morgan. Oh my god, it's the one person who's going to get this right. <laughs> okay, this is a special question. Name every studio album by Metallica in less than 15 seconds. Oh, I kill them all, ride the lightning, uh, uh, master of puppets, and justice for all, the black album, load, reload, sane anger, death magnetic, and hardwired to self-destruct. Correct! Oh, God damn it! Well, of course you picked the number that had the other Metallica question. I would have picked that too for the record. No, I think everyone but Saoirse here would uh, Everyone but Saoirse. Yeah. I feel like the 15 Thinking. seconds thing was a bit unnecessary, though. Like, oh. was kind of well, I mean... We had to make it a little harder. I'm the only one who constructed questions who can reasonably be answered. That's not true. That's not right. off. Next all right. Up. Me to Sersha, I believe. Yeah, you to Sersha, that's right. Sersha. Oh, hello. Well, good I've timing. got a multiple hello. choice question for you. Finally. Cool. Which of, these which of these bands' music was not featured in Edgar Wright's Baby Driver? Okay. Was it A, Blur, B, Boards of Canada, C, Tom Waits, or D, Carla Thompson? No answer! You're right, Jake. Worry about yourself. My, my logic it, here is that having listened to that album numerous times, um, I feel like I, I, I'd know if there was a Blur song on it. Um, for the life of me, I can't remember there being one on it. Um, but then again, I haven't listened to it for a very long time. Just I haven't Jake, watched the movie for a very long time. Jake has the world's worst poker face. So, what Let's is your have answer? A look at Jake's camera. Oh, I'm wrong. That's fine. Um, could you give me the options again if that's okay? You didn't answer. Sure. Blur, Boards of Canada, Tom Waits, or Carla Thompson? Right. Right, final answer, Birds of Canada. It is Tom Waits. What the fuck? fuck was the Boards of Canada song in Baby Driver? Ready, let's go. <laughs> That's like an interlude or like an intro. I know. And it's there's still also there. a blur interlude. It's still there. Very good. Well, there's also a blur interlude in that film too, so it's understandable that you wouldn't remember there being a blur song on that sound track. I, 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 I would have okay. guessed Tom it Waits was, just because you would recognize that, like, that voice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. My logic was that that's just the one I am most familiar with. I'm familiar with Tom Waits, but I'm most familiar with Blur. So I was like, I don't remember there being a Blur one. That's my best bet. Um, no, that, was a good, best. that was a good answer, though. Okay. Good uh, I can't blame you, really. Next up, Morgan asking me question number 23. Oh. Okay, this one's a little bit of a gimme. <laughs> uh, legendary guitarist Alex Lifeson of Rush fame has a solo on Porcupine Tree's album Fear of a Blank How Planet. How many Rush Oops. questions do you have? My no, goodness. fuck you! Which song does he solo on? How many obscure-ass live album questions do you have? Yeah, bud. Um, Tyler doesn't know immediately are... know? There are two featured artists on that album, um, and I know the two songs that they're on, but I'm just trying to remember which artist is on which song. Uh, I believe uh, that Alex Lifeson is on Anesthetize. That is correct. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I, um, is Robert Fritz on Way Out of Here? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, yes. so my Ugh. next... Um, addition to the canon is going to be uh let me think for a second um Not allowed.
Long Season by Fishman's. Ooh. That's, That's a Japanese cool. band that might actually win. All right, okay. what is the next number? Okay, um, so what I think we'll do at this point, because we're, I think, not quite halfway through the numbers, but we're, we've, we've been going for a while, is we're going to uh, yeah. add, a, add a new rule to try and speed this up a little bit. So what we'll do is, um, if you don't get your question right, um, I was going to say if you don't get your question right, it goes to the floor, but I think that might be too complicated because you'll have people speaking over each other and we don't have buzzers mm -hmm. or anything. So what I'll Second do is, chance. if you guys think this is a, a decent system, if you don't get your question right, it goes to the person who has the fewest right answers so far. If that's that's a good you. one. Oh, I'm, I like that. If that. they don't I get it, then yeah, the, the next person that. up gets a chance to answer like it. That. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, yeah. So the, sure. next, the next number is 13. Mm. Um, the Best Black Sabbath album. I haven't heard it. I'm just, it is not. It is ostensibly not 13. It's also not bad. No, right. it's not. Anyway, oh, I, I've uh, got such a great question for number 13. First up so is Mickey asking Jake. Oh. Okay, which prolific electronic musician has recorded the score for the last two <laughs> Safety Brothers films? Oh, um, it's uh, 100 Tricks Point Never. Yep, correct. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yay. Um, All right, Jake, so album, please. Album is Fuck It Earthling by David Bowie. Nice. Gonna really? Lose. really? Yep. Uh, yep. Well, it's it's gonna lose. I yeah. know, but it's shut up. We're also gonna get it's shouted just... at by people who come across this poll and be like, "What do you mean your only David Bowie album is Earthling?" And, I, and then we say, Fuck "And you. then I get to tell them that they're stupid." Okay. And um, who who wins there? Who comes out better? <laughs> Jake, me. It's your turn to ask August. I like good music. Fuck off. Question, bitch. Who's what now? You're asking me, you're asking bitch. August. Oh, pay all attention. Right. What is the second highest selling Pink Floyd album? Is it A, Dark Side of the Moon? B, The Wall? C, wish you were here, or D, metal. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna guess. Oh boy. I'm almost wondering if you're trying to like finagle with me with the answer here, because for every reason that Dark Side of the Moon should be number one, that also makes me think it might be number two. But metal, so uh, I'll say metal. It is the wall. Fuck. But Dark Side of the Moon is number one. Damn so it. So you, you have that. Metal is number four. Well, Just were we not going to let anyone steal? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we well, can't steal because he's given away the right answer. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. There yes. you go, buddy. Sorry. Please, let's I'm try not to give sorry. away the right answers until. Dumb drunk is... bastard. Uh. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Do it. Okay. All right. Come to my house. Next up is August. Asking I could come to your Morgan. house and you could still not kill me. All right, Morgan. Morgan. Name three solo albums by Brian Eno. <laughs> uh, Ambient One. Uh, uh, what's the? Is it's not another world? Is it? Is there like another? I, I know you can't tell me that, but. Fuck it. Ambient 2 and Ambient 3. Wrong. Wrong. Two of those are wrong. Okay. Those being... But So who's lowest? So lowest is currently Sersha. So she has a Saoirse. chance to, to steal this. All right, I'll tell you, so one, of what, one of the ones Morgan said was right, if that helps. I feel pretty that confident all. that Ambient 1 is correct. Um... But I, I don't know any other ones, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass this one. Okay, so next highest, obviously, August, you can't answer your own question. Yep. So after that, it gets to uh, me, to actually. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. Th this will be easy for you. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. I'm going to say, I'll just say his, his first few. So here come the warm jets, taking Tiger yep. Mountain by strategy, and another green world. There you go. Another green Fuck. world. There we go. 
There you, you were go. close, Morgan. You were close. So, were close. Uh, and my uh, next album. Now, I'm going to throw this out because um, I think Jake's suggestion for this round was stupid. So, I'm going to say Black Star. <laughs> Eat my asshole. Oh, he said Which Black one? Star. Oh, yeah, well, I can't I know be mad some at of them that. are in like the top 10, so they're ineligible, but I'm going to say Black Star because I think that's eligible. I can't be mad at that. Well, hang on. Um, so, how are we doing this if Jake's already put it forward? Um, well, well Tyler wins just because he's going to be more popular than mine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so I get to replace uh, Earthling with Black Star. Yes. Yep. That's correct. All right. And Jake I'm a gets loser. to um, make another choice, I suppose. Hmm. I do? Yeah, yeah I might as well. Because oh, it's not um, fair, otherwise you'll end up with just 19 hours. Well, out then I will pick. Um, Relationship of Command by At the Drive In. Much Word. better choice. Yeah. Cross that off. Better than Earthling. Okay. That is factually inaccurate, but okay. Okay, next sure, up buddy. is um, uh, 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 Morgan asking. Sir, Morgan sir. asking me. Yeah. Oh, dear. Go on. Progressive metal musician Devin Townsend released two albums in the year 2011. <laughs> Which. Which two albums were released in 2011? You gotta name both of them? Fuck. <laughs> do, do you expect me to know this? No. The first time I encountered Devin Townsend was when we covered his fucking album. It's so... literally just me and Tyler who would know this. Yeah, yeah, go on. Next person. Have a well, go. August, <laughs> August is next. So August has a chance to answer this if he, if he can. Fuck. I, I might be able to name one, but I know I can't name both, so I'll just fuck it, pass. Uh, that's me. I actually don't know, because I know like the names of a lot of his albums, but the later stuff I haven't listened to, so I can't match it to the year. Um, but I'm going to guess, like, um, is, uh, is Casualties of Cool one of them? New. Okay, no, I give up, so Jake can have it. Uh, it's one of them's Deconstruction, right? Mm-hmm. Um, You're not looking it up on your phone, are you? No. It's deconstruction and... Is it under the same name? Yeah, both under Devin Townsend Project. Motherfucker! Um, Ghost? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Jake, your next album. Give me an album, Jake. Um... <laughs> that would be funny, but no. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say... White Pony by Deftones. Nice. I was hoping someone would say that. Very good. So okay. Cross that off now. Um, okay, Sersha, you're asking me. asking me. Oh, just, I'm asking you. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Question 13. Um, in the song, New York, I Love You But You'll Bring Me Down by LTD Sound System, who are they referring to when they refer to New York's mild billionaire mayor? Um, so who was mayor in 2007? Uh, I would, I'm just going to say Bloomberg. That's the correct answer. Yeah. Yay. Damn. Fuck I, that I dude. Would, I would not yeah. guess that because I'm bad. I'm in the butt. Uh, I love that. I would have said, I would have said um, Rivers Cuomo. <laughs> okay. <my laughs> Good next, choice, August. My next addition to the poll. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Sound of Silver by LCD Sound System. Uh, oh, that was on hey, my list. That'll win. Bitch. That'll win. My list, too. Oh, so, by the way, Sersha, you mentioned uh, uh, that you wanted to see uh, Stop Making Sense, but for LCD Sound System. There is a DVD yes. of their f final performance, and it's up yeah, on it's YouTube, great. I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's called, oh, uh, shut, shut up that and play the Thank hits. You. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. I, that, what, what an amazing title! Can't wait. It's brilliant. It's like three hours long. It's amazing. They play almost every song that they've written. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, okay. So Nick, Nick's number is six, uh, and first six. up is uh, August asking Jake. Oh. Okay. No. Shut up. 
Oh shit, this one Jake will get like immediately because he had a question about it. Name three films based on albums that are not concert oh, films. Uh fucking uh Prince's Purple Rain, Pink Floyd's The Wall, and uh oh what the fuck is the other one? Was it wait, does Stop Making Sense count as a concert film? Yes, it, it does. does. It's a concert film. It does. Film. Um then instead, Michael Jackson's Thriller. That's a short, but I'll accept it. Okay. So, no other answers were like uh, Tommy and whatnot. Oh, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, that's a good one, yeah. All right, Jake, yeah. again, you're up to throw another album up. Blonde by Frank Ocean. Waiting for that one. Good boy. Uh, Morgan, I gotta do the hip hop. Morgan, you're yeah. asking August, question six. What was the first single off of Against Me's album, New Wave? <laughs> uh, fucking. Yep, that's it. Fucking. Uh, yeah. Fucking. <laughs> fucking. Fucking. Just like narrowing it saying. down, like, okay, I know it's not fucking because you joked about it. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know. John Turturro's Big Night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who wants to steal? Sersha can Sersha is next up because she's lower, so she can have it. Yeah, um I mean look, I don't know with a hundred percent surety, but I feel pretty confident that it's thrash unreal. Is is that your final answer? That means it's wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, in which case, um New Wave, the title track. That's also wrong. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> What is the right, right answer? Any, what, does anybody oh, else want it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, uh, who else has an answer? I think it's just me and Jake. Um, yeah. Me um, next, wait, and what, I don't know the, the exact, album. What is the exact question? What, was what is the first first single? I don't know the album. So Jake um, can have it if he knows it. I don't know it. Um, if it's not the title track, then maybe like... If it's the ocean, I'll eat my hat. I was I was about to fucking say a song off of White Crosses. Um, I oh, it's not. Know. I, I don't know. I don't know it. It's White People for Peace. Oh! Fuck. I'm fucking stupid! Hell. Really Sorry. should not have been a single. That song's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I don't I remember it, anything. It, I can't name an Against track. Me song, so I would have right. never gotten um, that. That's cool with you. Did you Dream's album track, so hard. Okay. So um, you're trying to ask Morgan. All right, I have no idea if you're gonna get this, probably not. Um, what's the question number again? Six. Um, six. Um, all right, I'm gonna say, if you name either of these acts, that's fine. Um, who, okay. but these are the first two acts to co-headline the Reading and Leeds Festival in 2011. I fucking know this shit. <laughs> What the fuck? It's a, it's a, it's like the biggest festival in the UK. I'm sorry. Nope. Got nothing. Um, okay. Okay. Are are so, they are they UK acts? Uh, one of them is. Fuck. The other uh, one is very uh, is, is yeah. Uh, shit. Uh. Arctic Monkeys. They they have headlined many times, but they've not co-headlined. Well, good, good guess, Dan. Morgan. Uh, so I think that's me next. Yeah, Try. Right for it. Try I'll it. say the 1975. They, really not, they, they did not yeah, exist. They, they, <laughs> they have also headlined, but not that. Um, so. I think I'm next. Uh, is yeah. Kanye West one of them? No. I don't think he's ever headlined the Reading and Leeds Festival. Yeah, <laughs> thinking about it, yeah, that's probably a bit silly. I was just thinking about his album was the biggest of 2010, so. Um, mm, that's that's, a, that's a fair logic. Uh, I don't know. Um, fucking Metallica? <laughs> 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 All right, Jake, Metallica what do you think Lou Reed. Oh, I don't fucking know. Like... They would have been touring Lulu at the time, so Metallica and Lou Reed. Muse, Radiohead, <laughs> who fucking knows? It was, it was the Strokes and Pulp. Oh. Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay. I guess Muse was close. Look, I feel like Arctic Monkeys is where those two acts meet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I feel like that should have gotten yeah, that one. Yeah, good go. Good, good answer. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, my next question. 
is um, for for Sertia. Hello. Uh, in 2013, the avant-garde pop band Shoo Shoo released a record of covers of songs by which famous jazz singer? Which fa <sighs> which famous jazz like really famous jazz singer? They they covered a bunch of this person's songs. Um, God. Um. Let me think about it. Um, I guess you could also describe this person as a blues singer, um, as well. Alternatively, uh, as well. yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I'm just gonna go with like the most famous jazz singer I can think of. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Unfortunately, that's not the right answer. Um, so next up is August, if he wants to take a stab at it. Oh, like you said, you might as well guess. Uh, like you all know this person, whose songs they Yeah, got. I'm sure we do. I'm sure, but I can't think of it. Oh, Aretha Franklin. Uh, no, it's not her. Morgan, do you want to have a go? Uh, Nina Simone. Correct. Well done. Yay! Oh, fuck. Yes. Okay. But you're uh, feeling good, aren't you? Well, yeah, I don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, let's go full emo kid. Paramore's brand new eyes. Hell, oh, I love yeah. you. I, I, I could kiss you, Morgan. Very good. Uh, I would like that. Good, good Paramore choice. That's <laughs> uh, not the best one. Okay, best so one. next go up, Jake, Jake ask me question six. All right. What was the top charting song? of 1997. A. It's gonna be garbage. Candle in the Wind by Elton John. Oh. B. Foolish Games slash You Were Meant For Me by Jewel. C. Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton or D. I Believe Unbreak I Can Fly by R. Kelly. Uh, it's, it's definitely between um, Candle in the Wind and I Believe I Can Fly. I'd say Candle in the Wind. That is correct! That's the year Princess Diana died. Yeah. Um, and also the year of Space Jam, I believe. <laughs> Hence, I believe I can fly. Of course, that is what I had in mind while making this question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, 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 like a, it's like one of the landmarks for human history. Like, it's about uh, the release of Space Jam. Like, you got B at BSJ and ASJ before Space Jam and after Space Jam. That's the, yep. Mm -hmm. ASJ is what's known as the dark times <laughs> um, Okay, so my next album is going to be um, Do it, Tyler The Glow Part 2 by The Microphones Yeah, that's one of my lists that's off Woohoo I think that will do very well in the bracket. Yes, it will yeah, it That is will. a very good likelihood of winning um, Okay, uh, next up is That was just Jake asking me, wasn't it? Yep. So it's oh, we've got a new number now. So yep. that's twenty. The new number is twenty-five, uh, and it's uh, okay. Morgan asking okay. Jake first. Okay. Uh, which late era Manic Street Preachers album is made up of lyrics written by former rhythm guitarist Richie Edwards? Oh, I, I don't actually know. I'll just say the one I've guessed, which is Futurology, and it's probably not right. That is incorrect. Yep. All right, so who's August, next? Uh, wait, no, Sersha's Sir Sir next. What, what was the question again? Which Manic Street Preachers album is made up of lyrics written by former rhythm guitarist Richie Edwards? And this is a late era album. Resistance is futile. Incorrect. Okay. August, do you want to have a go? I know. I don't think I can name a Manic Street Preachers album. I was going to say. Yeah. So go ahead, Tyler. So, you so Tyler does know this. Get the answer. The thing right. is, like, I know, uh, I know the album. I'm just the title is like just outside, like on the periphery of my thoughts. Uh, I it's, know the album cover. Yeah, me too. It's like it's journal for something. Um, You're so close. Oh, journal for plague lovers. There we go. There we that's go. It. All right, that's it. I hate you. <laughs> Okay, so I get to do another one. Yay. Hello. Uh, 
<laughs> so, so is Tyler at the top now? Probably. He's been getting a Jake lot. Jake and I right? are both now on 12. Um, all right, so my next album is going to be uh, Paul's Boutique by the Beastie Boys. Ooh, very on brand, very on brand. That's, that's a tasty jam. That is the, I think that is the greatest hip hop album of all time. It will that probably is. lose very quickly, unfortunately. It probably will, but it uh, deserves to be there. Um, yes, it is. I'll, yeah. I want to say now that I think Stop Making Sense is going to take the whole thing. Probably. Maybe, maybe. Because who's, who's going to vote against freaking Stop if Making Spencer Sense? If Spencer retweets our thing, <laughs> then yes. Yeah. Mm. I think it Remain in Light would have more luck personally, but I yeah, like it Stop would. Making Sense. I'm not going to like try and sabotage no. it. Um, all right, so that was uh, Morgan for Jake. So, Sersha for August. And this is which question? 20? 25. Okay. What was the original title of the song Mrs. Robinson by Simon and Garfunkel? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Love the honesty with which you answered that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so Wait, who's, who's next? The small um, one. Morgan is next. The graduate. <laughs> so was no. that a no? No, no, it wasn't. No. And then, I mean, uh, no, it wasn't a no. No, it wasn't a yes. Jake and I are both tied, but since I've done the most recent recommendation, I'll let Jake have a go first. Mrs. Roosevelt. Yes. I wouldn't have known that. So I wouldn't have known yeah. that if not for my mom and our weird vinyl slash laser discs collection of a Jewish family laser used to babysit for. Laser, laser discs. Laser discs. Yeah, that's exactly Basically, what I just said. Mike, Mike Nichols asked Simon and Garfunkel to write the music for The Graduate, and then they didn't uh, bother, so they just gave him the song Mrs. Roosevelt, and he was like, right, it's Mrs. Robinson now. I can't read. Um, we, we had Francis the Mute already, yeah? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we did. Um, we also had a Don't Miles we? Davis album, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Clipping by Clipping. Oh, no. oh, oh I a different Clipping album, you fuck. Yeah, I was surprised. It's more popular than there existed in Addiction to Blood. I'm sorry. Is it more you can popular still than recommend that? over it. Nah, I don't know about that. It's I know that one, Chief. Um, whatever. Uh, um, okay, so... It doesn't matter. It'll lose against whatever it goes up against, more like than likely. Rainus. Next is um, me asking Morgan. So, question for Morgan. Okay. Oh, boy. It's a long question, so just bear with me. It has a simple answer, but it's a long question. The Elephant Six Recording Company is a collective of American indie and folk artists such as the Olivia Tremor Control of Montreal and the Apples in Stereo. But which beloved indie band was arguably their most well-known member? Modest Mouse. Nope. Um, it's not Modest Mouse. Uh, uh, Sersha, do you want to have a go at this? It's a complete shot in the dark. I mean, th I think there was a band called Electric Six. So I'm going to go with them. Well, the, the collective's called Elephant Six, not Electric Six. Oh, I misheard you. Um, and this is a folk rock thing? Indie and folk artists. This is the, the answer to this okay. question is a band that you know. I'm sure I do know them. Um, Elephant Six. Um, American indie what, what, artists. Which artists did you say were on their docket? Uh, the Olivia Trimmer Control of Montreal and the Apples in Stereo. All right, I'm going to go with the Neutral Milk Hotel. Is the correct answer. Fuck <laughs> me. Hmm. I did not um, know that for the life of me, so I'm glad somebody fucking did. It just sounded was... like the kind of people they'd hang out with. To be <laughs> frank, I was going yeah, to guess. Their album, their album in the year of the Sea was the last one that you contributed to this. Um, yes, yeah, true. Thing. So I was going to guess. Uh, that'll win. Yeah. What's your right, guess? Album, microphones. So, Jake, I'm going to continue the hip hop thing we're doing at the moment. Um, Jake already contributed Fear of a Blank Planet, but I'm going to oh, add Public Enemies' Fear of a Black Planet. Yeah, 
<laughs> Imagine if they should going up to, against each other in the. Uh... I hope they do. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh God! Well, the porcupine tree would get fucking demolished. <laughs> we'll see. As they will be. Uh, we'll okay. see. So, uh, Jake asking Sersha next. Okay. 25? 25? Yeah. 25. Okay, what is the top selling album of 2005? Well, is well. it A, 50 Cent's The Massacre, B, Eminem's Encore, bleh, C, Green Day's American Idiot, or D, Mariah Carey's The Emancipation of Mimi? I mean, you mentioned Eminem's Encore, and that is a not good album, but it still like went to number one in platinum. The, and these that, are the top so. four of that year. I'm not fucking around with you or anything. Yeah, you could you repeat the list again if that's all right? Uh, it is A, 50 Cent's The Massacre, B, uh, Eminem's Encore, C, Green Day's American Idiot, or D, Mariah Carey's The Emancipation of Me. All right, I think it's between Green Day and Mariah Carey. Um, the thing is, like, American Idiot was ubiquitous in 2005, but at the same time, so was dumb pop music, so it could easily be 50 Cent. Um, uh, all right, I'm going to do the crossover of Logic and My Instincts, which um, is Green Day. It is 50 Cent's The Massacre. You fucker, you, oh. you fucker. Don't answer your own question. Oh, fuck, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I'm sorry. Well, now well, I miss out on that. The sorry um, doesn't undo August's potential point, does it? Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow, fuck. okay. Why don't we just gonna... give August a point then so we can stop talking about this? <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm gonna urinate on all of you. <laughs> I'm not. We're not. We're gonna just give all this the point. He's doing all right. Um, yeah. No, I'm not. You know, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's keep going. Um, now it's August's turn to ask me. Okay, fine. Name two non-self-titled albums by Peter Gabriel. <laughs> um, so, oh, so and us. Oh. Correct. Sorry, I didn't go with Melt. That's that self-titled, Jake. Melt but it's is also called Melt. It wouldn't count. They're all well, they're, that's all the self-titled. Stupid. All the self-titled albums. Can we got move on? Titles, so it would be a who dumb cares? <laughs> oh, both of you, shut up. Yeah. All right, my album number thirteen is um, um, Yeast by Joanna Newsom. Oh, uh, I love you, Tyler. Yes. Thank you. Um, this is really hard. Good person. Uh, okay. Um, so ne- ne- next number is twenty-eight. Sir- Sersha, you turn to ask Jake. Oh. Can't wait. Um, twenty-eight. Um, <laughs> in which country has the music to be murdered by by Eminem gone platinum? <laughs> what a question. What? Okay, I mean, I know this is fucking like America. Um, not it, no. Yeah. Okay, so August has a chance to steal here. Yeah, I guess do it. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say Germany. No. Dang it. Um, He's only saying that because Germany is where <laughs> World War II happened. That, that and music to be Russian. murdered by would be the second worst thing that happened there. That was that was the rationale, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Ooh, do you wanna guess? Croatia. I don't know. No, 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 it wasn't. Uh, I'll Croatia. Guess, you say that like I should know. I'll guess um Oh Japan. No, it's Canada. The oh, fuck, Canada? What are you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I think we all overthought that one. Um, well, no, just Canada's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> Canada's okay. just bad. Right. Jake Anderson, twenty twenty. My question, my question for August. Oh no. To get a point that he desperately needs. Oh damn. David Bowie was not the only canonical songwriter to release an album shortly before his death in 2016. Which yeah. Canadian singer? God damn it! Which Canadian singer released "You Want It Darker" 
three weeks before his death in November of that same year. I'm going to get this one before Jake because of the order. Yeah, yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is. The one I wouldn't know. I know Leonard Cohen. Hey! Hey. August! No! No way! Yeah! Holy shit. I remember being very sad then because of this. That's how I Leonard remember. Cohen died, I believe, the day after Trump was elected. Oh, it's the nice God. history right, fact. Did. Uh, oh God, that anyway, was like right, August. Leonard August Cohen just album. saw the election results and dipped. He was just like, <laughs> Nah, fam, I'm out. Okay. But, but a lot of people think he's American as well, and he's Canadian. Anyway, um, <laughs> you your, know, uh, album August. Let's go. Uh, another one from me. Uh, Arthur yes, or the please. Fall and Decline of British Society by the Kinks. Oh, that's an interesting pick. Love it. Like that. The only way the good. Kinks were getting into here. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure yeah. as fuck was. Uh, okay, so uh, Jake asking Morgan question 28. Oh man, this is the one person who I knew was going to get this right. <laughs> I don't even need to give you the multiple choice answer. What acclaimed progressive musician joined Porcupine Tree from In Absentia onward? Uh, Gavin Harrison. That is correct. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to nominate uh, Massive Attacks Mezzanine. Ooh, good choice. Uh, next number is number uh, forty, the very last oh. question oh, wow. uh, okay. of the of the num- numbers. <laughs> um, okay, so ne- first up is me asking Jake. Okay, now this is a multi-choice question. Great. And it's um, you're probably gonna you're gonna need the multi-choice. Um, okay, actually no, you you need the multi-choice because it's like inherently in the question. Anyway, okay. 1959 is widely oh. regarded as one of the most significant years in all of jazz music. Oh, Christ. Which of these canonical jazz records was not released in that year? So three of them were and one of them was not. A, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue. B, Charles Mingus, Mingus R. Um. C, John Coltrane, Giant Steps. D, Ornette Coleman, The Shape of Jazz to Come. Mingus? Mingus is your final answer? Yeah. It's not Mingus. So that means the next person has only three choices, so they have, have it a bit easier. So that's <laughs> Sersha. Do you want me to read the question again? Could you, repeat, could you repeat them if that? Just repeat the albums. Okay. So which of these was not released in 1959? Uh... Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, John Coltrane, Giant Steps, or Nick Coleman, The Shape of Jazz to Come? This um, is a, a crapshoot, but I'm going to go with the Coltrane. No, wait, uh, what was the second one again? I said Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, John Coltrane, Giant Steps, or Nick Coleman, The Shape of Jazz to Come? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Coltrane. I'm going to go with Coltrane. Correct. That was released in 1960. Yay. I know Yay. that probably sounds like a really like obscure question, but if you get it like no if you get into jazz music, yeah. oh, I'm just I'm sure, if I, I'm, big yeah. I'm sure if I knew more I'd know it, but that's fine. Nineteen fifty nine um, records. Um so sure, sure. All right. Thank you. I'm going to choose God. Uh Knife Man by AJJ. Cool. Very All right, good. cool. Uh, okay, so Jake asking August question 40. Yes, the least likely person to get this. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Okay, number 40. Album art from which of these post punk slash new wave bands inspired the look of the main character of James O. Barr's graphic novel, The Crow? A. The Cure. B. Echo and the Bunnymen, C, Sushi and the, Susie and the Banshees, D, Cocteau Twins. The Cure? That is correct! Fuck yeah. Which album cover? 
Uh, it is the it is disintegration. Yes, that's the one I thought of. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's my boy. It's my go. boy. Oh, I'm so happy. happy. I'm I'm proud of you, son. My Nebraska okay. child. Let's see. What do I want to do? You know what? Let's go I for uh. Sure. Show me the game. Let's go for a uh, pod. By breeders. Nice. Very good. Hey, uh, yeah. Wait, like the okay. the Kim I, Deal band? Yeah, the Kim Deal band. Okay, just making sure. Okay. Uh, next up, August asking Morgan question forty. Morgan's gonna get this one. Mm. Uh, name three bands: Omar Rodriguez, Lopez, <laughs> at the drive-in, the Mars Volta, and Anti Mask. <sighs> There you go. Yeah, boy. Okay. Moving your album. Okay. Who am I asking? Yeah, give us oh, your album. album. Oh, right, right. You are. Right, you are. Uh, Block Party Silent Alarm. Nice. Oh, I like this. What's the name of the album again? Silent, Silent, Silent Alarm. Alarm. Oh, I like Block Party. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, Morgan asking Sersha. Oh, okay. Wait. I'm going to give you a massive hint for this one. That's fine. So name one of the Thank artists you. that Between the Buried and Me covered on their album, on their cover album, The Anatomy Of. So think the most easy answer you could think for a metal album cover band. Or not a cover band, a cover album. It's easy one for a cover album. Like Metallica, I guess? Yes, I there we go. Oh, fantastic. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, yep. uh, you're right, that is quite a straightforward answer. Um, right. I'm going it covered to... blackened and it owns. No, I will. I'm it sure it does. does. That sounds awesome. It's pretty. I'm going to. Cool. I'm going to choose Wilco's Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. Oh, nice! Oh, I had that nice. as well. Yeah, I love that album to pieces. Orin's dead. Very good. <laughs> um, okay, so next is um, Sersha asking me question forty. Uh, live ones don't count, by the way. Um, for this, but name an EP by the 1975. You have four possible answers. Uh, music for Cars. Yeah, that's correct. Glad that I didn't get asked that fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so my next album t that I'm going to nominate is um, uh, Dummy by Portishead. Very cool. tiny I have a Portis head question. Very good. Oh, no. I hope you get to ask it. Um, all right, so next door. number is oh, right next door, 39. Um, oh. <laughs> so first Me. up is August asking Jake. Jake will fucking get this one. What is David Bowie's last name? What? His oh, real last name. name. Yeah. Like legally. Oh. I know that. Wait, like what? Legally, What's his legal surname? Oh, um, I actually don't know. How do you okay. I do. Think about the fact that his son directs movies under the name Duncan Jones. Oh, fuck off! Damn it. Well done, so, Saoirse. Sir, Saoirse, that's a point for you. She needed it. Thank it's, you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I also knew this because job. David Bowie grew up in my hometown. Um, Yay! And, so I'm going to choose one that's probably not going to get chosen by anyone else, but maybe Tyler. Um, it's going to be All Hail West Texas by the Mountain Goats. I'm shocked. Yeehaw. Very good. <laughs> Yeehaw, indeed. <laughs> okay. So uh, next up is... Uh, who? Uh, sorry, I got a bit confused. You're the one with the we can't help you here. Who Very just nice. asked who? I just asked Jake. Yeah. Because Morgan asked the oldest. Okay, Morgan asked the oldest. That's where we are. Cool. Yeah. Okay. What is the title of Stephen Wilson's fourth solo album? Insurgents? No, that's <laughs> the first one. That is incorrect. It? Damn it. Was there should be to go. Um, repeat the question. What is the title of Stephen Wilson's fourth solo album? Lord, I don't fucking know. Um, I like Stephen Wilson, but I don't know his album names. Um, Okay, so who's next? Jake? Tyler? Uh, hang on, let me, let me Who see. has more, me or Tyler? 
I wait, hang on. You're next, Jake, not me. To the bone. That is also incorrect. Oh, what the fuck? That's his fifth. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Fuck, I know what it is. I know what it is, yeah, too. I, I think I know what it is. Um, is it um, the raven who refused to sing? That is also incorrect. Fuck. Oh. It's hand to not a race. race. Yep. My question for Sersha. Oh, hello. Uh, give me a sec. Is, um, hang on. All right. Which seminal hip hop album was released okay. on September 11th, 2001? I mean, I know the Ben Folds album was released on that day. Nickelback. Um, <laughs> I know that Ben Folds Rock in the Suburbs. That's what was. I just said. That's what I just said. I this, can't hear you. Well, this we is can one hear of the you. Most canonical, beloved, and critically right. acclaimed hip hop albums of the last twenty years. Mm. Okay, interesting. I wonder. Um, it's a significant album for hip hop. I'm sure. It, um. Oh, is it the self-titled Gorillaz album? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Mm. I. Huh. <laughs> Ignore me. I know they get rappers on their songs. Um, white people be like. <laughs> um, like. Yeah, I am a white person. My knowledge of hip hop is growing, um, but not what I have to call. take that as your yeah. answer, Sersha, and it's not that. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. Um, August, do you want to have a go? Is it the blueprint? It is the blueprint by James. I was yes. say that. Yay. Oh. I am also a smart blueprint. I wouldn't have said that. Okay. Okay. August, your album. Oh. I will go with uh you know what? Gotta throw in some more rep for the IDM. Let's go uh Saw eighty five ninety two. Very good. So selected ambient works. Eighty five to ninety two for search. I I said that only to be annoying. Yeah. Naturally. It's fine. I'd have been able to find it anyway. I respect it. 85 but I appreciate okay. Tyler looking out for me. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, what's next? That was. I'm really bad at keeping track right now. Who who just asked who? Somebody. Um, you that was me. me. I asked. I asked. Sasha, didn't I? So. Um, yes. Yeah, so it's Jake asking Jake, you now. Jake asking me. Question thirty nine. Jake. Okay. Which of these? current hip-hop artists got their name from a random name generator is it a chadish gambino b juice world c kodak black d the weekend it's childish gambino i'm pretty sure yes it is yes the only one that really sounds like is made in a random name yeah i love how like girls like coke up my ass crack Jake, you also said current hip hop artists and referred to the late Juice World, which I thought was a bit yeah. of a failure. I mean, well, we we'll just replace the word current with modern. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. All right, so Tyler, hit me up. My next album is um, uh, Post by Bjork. Ooh, good choice. Ooh, good, good choice. My Natural second favorite. Tyler pick, but I can't disrespect. Yeah, I mean, I'm foregoing a lot of my favorite albums for ones I think will do well in the poll. Um, is that your favorite? Love... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's your favorite Bjork album, is it? I, think no, it's, I thought Vesper it was Vesper Team. Vesper team. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, Post yeah. is more of her. Um, mm-hmm. All right, what's the new number, Ty? New number is 33. Um, mm. 33. And first up is Morgan asking Jake. Okay, he's going to get this one. Uh, Black Star is a rap duo made up of most deaf and Talib Kuli. What is the name of this group's only album to date? Oh, uh, Black Star. Is that your final answer? Well, I guess not now, because you fucking <laughs> second-guessed me like a son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> well, it, it, isn't it like most deaf and Talib Kuli present Black Star? I'll give you that one. It's most deaf and Talib Kuli are Black Star. Okay, thank you. Something like that. Uh, shit. Uh, my album pick. 
Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, you know fucking what? I'm going to pick Black Star. Yeah. The, okay. You're gonna pick. We've got two albums in this bracket now called Black Star. Oh, Black Star. I know, right? Well, one of them so is we have Black one Star word. and Black Star, and we have Fear of a Black Planet and Fear of a Blank Planet. Favorite colors. Okay. Not mine. Right. Someone's. Um, so, Sersha, ask August. Right. Um, I'm going to give you a real big clue and say that the okay. person who is the answer to this question has already been an answer to a different question. Um, right. 33, you say. Um, the lead singer of which Grammy and Brit award winning band dated Laura Marling and appeared in many of her music videos. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to think of past answers we've had. Mm. I don't know, is it Frank Turner? He hasn't been an answer, but no, no. He hasn't? I don't care. It's been a question. Okay, I don't know, though, is my point. Yeah, that's Respect. fair, okay. Um, Morgan, no, Jake is next, sorry, Jake's next, I guess. I don't know, fucking know, um... David Bowie. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Like Laura Bowling would have been, like, 17 when they were able to date. Yep. <laughs> Morgan, and no, not. Are they also British? Yes. Or else they wouldn't be up for a Brit Award. Unless they were the new international, but that's fine. Well, I don't I don't know what the Brit Award fucking it's, never mind. They're, they're awards for British artists. Uh that's Marcus Mumford. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Morgan. Yay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was unexpected. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah good right, job. Morgan. I didn't hear it, but I'm sure it's right. Morgan, your album. Oh, my thumb. We ever? Yeah, we've already included a cold train. Uh, I am going to throw in uh, Fleetwood Max Rumors. Very good. I, well. I, I had that one. Good, 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 good well. job. Yay. Yeah. I didn't include that one just because I didn't know Morgan Wood. That's reasonable. Um, I do want to so, say I would have had, would have uh, had no idea what the answer to that question was. <laughs> so he was already <laughs> answered. All right, my question for Morgan: uh, Which uh, which record of the early two thousands has the following descriptor tags on Rate Your Music? Uncommon time signatures. Philosophical. Complex, progressive, and heavy. No, I don't know. Um, sorry. What? Wait, when did you say this album was from? The early two thousands. D last in the comatorium. I don't know. It is not that. Um, who's lowest at the moment? Uh, I'll search and August both tired. I'll get. I'll let Sersha have a go first. Okay. That could be so many. Yeah, we'll probably get this. Could be a lot of albums. Is it? Um, you know what? Fuck it. Is it Lateralis by Tool? It is Lateralis by Tool. Well done. Mother oh fucker. shit! You said uncommon time signatures, and I was like, "That's a fucking Tool album." I know no, it. I thought people would get to, would go Tool straight away with uncommon time signatures. Huh. Yep. It's yeah. obvious. Well, I thought. All right. Oh, like, it's such a my... meme. Like these tags are so memey for Tool. Like philosophical it again, complex. Overthinking it. Uh, <laughs> In honor right. of the Laura Marlin. I don't use regular music. <laughs> In no, honor that's... of the Laura Marlin question. <laughs> Gonna go with Alas I Cannot Swim by Laura Marling. Very good. Um, okay, so that means next up is Jake asking Sersha. What number? 33. 33. All right, Sersha. What Hello. was the number one hit song of 1995? Was it A? Wow. 
A kit was it Kiss from a Rose by Seal. B Waterfalls by TLC. C Creep by TLC. Or D Gangsta's Paradise by Coolio. Uh, I'm gonna go with Gangsta's Paradise. That is correct. Wow, two in a row. Look at me go. Um I'm gonna be in- insanely predictable. Um and I'm gonna go with um Tape Deck Cart by Frank Turner. Well, now our list has Frank Turner on it. Not Love Iron Song. Yeah, I That's thought what it was, was going to be Love put. Iron Song as well. That's what okay, I was going to put. I, th- I think Take Like Heart would have a better chance and be I prefer it. Okay. Um, August. You're wrong, but I respect me. it. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting you to get this one. Which two 2010s albums are notably soundtracks to books? Oh. I know one of them. Uh, uh, I don't fucking, I don't read. <laughs> um, uh, I don't I think, think that would help read. you. I don't think it would help you if you did. Um, pass. I don't know. I can't even think sure. Um, I I don't know the second, but I'll say the first to help whoever's after me. Um, it's Logic Supermarkets. That is valid, yeah. That's a good you are one. right with that one. It's the only time anyone has ever said anything that, about that is valid in regards to supermarket <laughs> by logic. Um, so if, if Serge is not going to try to name a second one, then I, I mean... wouldn't have no chance. I'm just helping whoever's after me. Oh, okay. gosh. It's okay. so that obvious. Means that, that means that Jake is next. And what is the question again? Uh, How about which... based on books? In, yes. in what? Like a year? In or just in 2010. In the 2010s. Um, the two notable ones. The only thing I'm aware of is uh, um, the Childish Gambino album. It's based on a screenplay. I don't know. Pass. Morgan. Okay, so there's Supermarket, but isn't Have One on Me by Joanna Newsom based on a book? Or isn't that related? So. All right, well. It is. You say that because Tyler mentioned it as being uh, novelistic in a previous podcast episode. Yes. I, sure, yeah. let's go with that. Well, I don't know. Okay. This question so, is stupid. I, I'm shocked you guys didn't get the other one. It was My Teenage Dream Ended. Oh, fuck, of course. Of course it is. You say shocked. that like I haven't tried to forget okay. everything <laughs> August, that album. August, no one got it. No one got it. So um, you get to put an album forward. Oh, shit, I question, dude. Go on. Cool. Well, um, I guess since we were on this kind of hip hop kick earlier, I'll go with The Chronic by Dr. Dre. <laughs> Very good. That'll make it far. Uh, it'll make it further than uh, Tape Deck Heart, I feel. But, you know. <laughs> uh, you're correct, but fuck it. Exactly. You've got to go with, with what you love. I mean, it was uh, going right. to pick it further than any Frank Turner, so. Okay, yeah, that's so, fair. Uh, the next number is number nine. Uh, number so nine. First, first, number up, nine Lord. first up is um, <laughs> Sersha asking Jake. Number nine. Asking Jake. Um, okay. What was the name of the band that successful film composer Clint Mantle was in? Sweet and gentle Jesus. Uh, uh, the, the, the answer I would like to give is pass. That's fine. Uh, the Clint Mansell Project. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually think you guys might have heard of I'm this band. A dick in my I ass by Clint Mansell. <laughs> I, I had heard of this band when I found out that they were who he was in. Yeah, I bet you have because they're going to be like some folk band no one no, the, I don't know the answer I, was you to say that. I don't know the answer I wasn't going to guess but I will say that I did know he was in a band so no I, I, okay like, you're not the only one who's well, out, he, wait, he, you will know this when you say it fair enough I am the who, who, who's next to guess I mean does anyone have a guess 
I don't even. Does anyone? I don't. Okay. Nope. The answer was uh, pop will eat itself. Oh yes, I knew that. I fucking knew that. Yeah, of course you did. I don't fucking know. So, Sersha, what will you, know? you put forward? Yeah. All I pick. Um, right. So I'm gonna pick in. I'm in your mind first, but I can guess it in the lizard wizard. Would have gone, not have gone infinity, but that's a good choice. It is I my mean, favorite, so. Very I good. can still pick it and try and. You can. Yeah, you, that. you probably would win if you did that. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Um, uh, T asks A. So that's Tyler asking August. Okay. Oh, shit. This is the you one person of. I was hoping wouldn't get this because not. You one. son of a bitch. Yeah. What, what is the opening line of Farah Abraham's album, My Teenage Dream Ended? Oh, I know this. Oh, the opening oh, line yeah. is, uh, oh boy, it's... <laughs> Morgan's like, I'm done. Mm. Quit. I'm trying to remember the exact, I want to get it as exactly correct as I possibly can. Of course. I mean, good, because if you don't know, we'll leap on this bitch. Um, I believe it is along the lines of... I can't fit enough into a song. It's not the exact words, but yeah, but it's like close it's enough. Close. I'm torn on enough. whether I should give it to him. I think I will, um, just because we can't really be picky at this point. I can only fit so much into a song. Yeah, that's that it. Is, that's the line. Well done. Yes, I'll, that's I'll, I'll it. Let August have it. So, August okay. The album. August. Now, if I could, I would have. This would have been the absolute golden moment to recommend my teenage dream ended. Would not I cannot not. recommend it so bad. I know I can't, which disappoints me so much. So I will go with uh, the first self titled American football album. A oh, very good one. Very good pick. We stand. We stand truly. Um, okay, next up is Jake asking Morgan, question nine. Okay. I'm sorry, this is the second Run the Jewels question you've gotten. <laughs> Number nine, which of these four artists has not featured on a Run the Jewels album? Is it A, Travis Barker, B, Danny Brown, C, Raekwon, D, Big Boy? Uh, it's Raekwon, isn't it? That is correct. Huzzah. Okay. Very good. So, uh, Morgan, your album? Do we, we put in a Pink Floyd yet? I don't know. So. I don't think so, no. We okay, not. I'm going to go with Pink Floyd's Animals. Yeah! That's on my list, too. I was torn between um, The Wall and Wish You Were Here for them. Very well, you can't list. put either of those. They disqualify. Okay, August, asking Sersha, question nine. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. What is the most famous drum break in hip-hop? The most famous drum break in hip-hop? What is that song? By what you metric, say me? August? According to whose metric? Yeah. Uh, just kind of a general consensus. <laughs> I, I love oh, yeah. my professor loves it when I cite general consensus. No, fine. I will how about I make it more specific? It was sampled on Tyler the Creator's latest album. Okay. And um, is I'm considered I'm still not gonna get it, but uh, Was it on I think? I have to remember what's I'd have to check what song it was. Famous it's famous drum break. break. Um You can name the song or the artist. Is it um, NWA? That is not correct. That's fine. Um, oh, wait, is it Run DMC? Um, Run DMC was sampled, but it's also not correct. So, uh, yeah, okay, okay. That's uh, what's next. Next is Jake. A tribe called Quest. That is incorrect. Yeah, I figured. Uh, Morgan? Uh, Shot in the Dark, is it When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin? Also incorrect. Oh. It's a sound from the Beyonce album, but I'm not sure. I just realized that I should have gone before Morgan, and that was what I was going to say, but I don't have another better answer, so. Uh, yeah, it, is, it is Amen Brother by the Winstons. 
Oh, yes, cool. the most famous too obscure drum break. The most too famous obscure. drum break ever in a hip hop like song. Famous sample in all of hip hop. No, but no one knows the band or the or the song name. He would even Winston pick your album. Churchill well, that's the point sample. of the question. Pick your album. Fine. Um, Burial album, you nerd. <laughs> because Jake said it. Untrue by Burial. Thank you. I was really hoping you would pick that because it's on my list and I don't want to waste a turn with it when you're going to say it. So we'll get eliminated yeah. in the first round, but I respect it. No, I won't. <laughs> fuck you, Jake. What the fuck do you know about this shit? What are you what talking are you about, about, Jake? The beloved yeah, What's album. it going to lose to? Like, I wasn't testifying to the Wait, quality we? of the album. I was testifying to the quality of Twitter users, you fucking Wait, twitch. It? <laughs> it's going <laughs> to... Oh, I love you guys. Fuck up, you two. It's going to do better uh, than fucking Ocean Machine Biomech. Like I said it wouldn't, asshole. <laughs> it's going to get eliminated in the first round. I hope those two go up against each other. Okay, Morgan, your question for me. I hope you bend the fuck over. Was it, was it number nine? I'm said, a minor. Yeah. Number nine. Uh, black metal band Behemoth gained footing in mainstream metal at the release of their 10th album, released in 2014. What is the name of this album? I, I think this might be... I hope it's the right band I've got, but this is probably the only album by them I, I, I know. I haven't heard any of them. But I think... Is it The Satanist? That is correct. Fucker. Yeah. God damn it. The only album by them I've heard of, so... Um, it's really good. Listen it to is. It. Yeah, it's been on my list for ages. I do believe that it's probably very, very good. Um, I mean, there's there's no need to make it like a priority or anything. <laughs> uh, I've got only like four choices left, and it's really, really hard. Um, I am going to... Fuck. Um, I'm going to say... <laughs> What about Daydream Nation by Sonic Youth? Hmm. Not a bad answer. Tasty. Choice. Fuck. Tasty jam, What's the question? Um, so we need a new Not number about now. about Behemoth. Um, 34 is the new number. And I, I'm up first asking Jake. C can I just say, so while I was at the toilet, did anyone choose an album? Yep. Yes. August picked Untrue by Burial. Have you got that? Yeah, I've got that one. And, and I, just picked, I just picked Daydream Nation by Sonic Youth. There Thank we go. you. Good choice. Okay. Um, so my question for my Jake... My next pick is going to be connected to Sonic Youth. My question for Jake. Um, I wonder. All right, Jake, you're going to have to pay attention to this. Because I know you're intoxicated. Um, I've had enough pretzels. <laughs> which single from Fleetwood Mac's album Rumours became the band's first and only number one single on the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. I'll give you options. Okay. Here are your four options. I have, I have my answer in mind, but I'll, I'll see if it's... No one Google this because you might get to answer it. Your four options are Dreams, Don't Stop, The Chain, Go Your Own Way. Dreams. Correct. It's the right answer. First instinct, baby. Okay. Um, the only ever number one single in the U.S. I am going to enter. We've done. Have we done the glow part two? I yes. have. Yeah. Yes. Um. Well. I guess I, that means I will put in Motherfucker, this is hard. Science Fiction by Brand New. Yeah. You okay. lovely human being. I love you. I have to get rid of Devil and God. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Uh, Jake, uh, you're trying to ask August. Question 34. Question 34. All right. What is the top selling Outcast album? Is it A, Stanconia, B, Southern Playlistic, 
C, speaker box, the love below, or D, AT aliens? I'm going to say speaker box, the love below. That is correct. Yes. I figured because Hey Ya's on that album and that sound. That is why. That is exactly why. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm just going to go for another big hitter. Let's do uh, Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antenna to the Heavens. Very good, good choice. Good choice. That'll win. <laughs> That'll probably win. By whom? Godspeed, God speed, you black, black emperor. emperor. Oh, then. Right. I know them. They're okay. <laughs> All right. Well, who's next? I think it's me asking Morgan. That's correct. I don't know okay. Don't that is right. Yeah. Name a group LP produced music for other than Run the Jewels. Like a, a group or an act? Like a single artist? Can I name a single artist? I, I will give it to you if you can name one. Well, yes. he, Killer, he produced Killer Mike's rap music. Fair enough. Now that, that, that is what I like to call a decisive victory. I was a big brain <laughs> answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Morgan. Oh, I love you, too. Uh, I'm going to throw on uh, Jimmy Eat World's Clarity. Ooh. Uh, I Just love you point again, out this is more this is time. what LP lo it looks like on Wikipedia. Yep. It's just the picture of him. <laughs> His name is Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> this fuck. Killer Mike's full name is Michael Render. <laughs> Render? Render. Oh, Sorry, what album did you just put mm. forward? Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy World's well. Clarity. Clarity, that's right. Surprised he hasn't put on the impossible cast on there. Okay. I think we're gonna lose, Ask and I can't question. bear to watch that. Okay. Ask me a question, Morgan. Yeah, it's a good, Do it. Yeah. It's a good Morgan, ask Sasha. Uh, Thirty-four. Is that yeah. right? So okay. Thirty-four. Who plays saxophone on Miles Davis's landmark album *Kind of Blue*? Ooh, I know this. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I know jazz trumpeters, singers, and. Drummers, saxophonists, fuck all. Um, so I'm gonna pass this one. All right, who's next then? August, uh, me, but I also have no idea whatsoever. So you I can guess. It. Oh my god, was I, it Miles Davis? I could <laughs> guess, but I can't. Is the thing. Well, that's not true. Like literally, just name a jazz artist. I, I'm I'm thinking of one, but I can't. But I know I butcher his name, so. So you're just not going to risk it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, because I'll seem like an asshole if I do. Fair well, enough. Well, right. Is Jay the wave? I don't know. Because he can what? have a go. Huh? Jay, Will you, you be attentive? What, do, Charles <laughs> Mingus? No. <laughs> Charles. So Mingus. that's just Tyler then. Um, well, the thing is, there's, there's two saxophone players on Kind of Blue, I'm pretty sure. Because one, there's one person who plays alto sax and one person who plays tenor sax. That might be true, but like the most notable one. Well, I can give you both because I know the album really, really okay. well. Um, it's, uh, well, the tenor sax is John Coltrane. That was the one I was looking for. And the alto sax is Cannonball Adderley. Right, everyone's favorite. Yeah. Um, so, I right. Not, um, I know too little about jazz. I okay, guess so I've got three more albums to add. Um, I've got to be really careful here when I select. Um, How far in the lead are you? I'm on, this is my 18th selection. Um, uh, Either's winning, what a shock. Uh, <laughs> not by much. Like, it's, it's pretty fucking close at the top. Um, and I was losing for a while at the start. I'm going to throw in uh, Illmatic by Nas. Ah, oh, well, every other album can be... That wasn't disqualified? Oh, my God. I don't think it was. Hang no, on. it's not. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, 
I think it's me. I think it's Sersha asking me next. Is that right? It is. It is. Um, I expect it you is. to get this, Brian, on, but I'm point of order. Point of order. It is disqualified. Hello. It is number three on the top ten of all time on Sputnik. No. Oh, okay. Well, that, that shows me for not even checking the Sputnik top ten. Oh, bad. Oh. And also, A Love Supreme is on there. I know you mentioned oh, that one already. Fuck. Okay, so I've got to make two replacements. Is there anything else on there that I've mentioned? Okay. Wait, where so the I fuck don't... is Love Supreme on my list of albums just... I've got here? I'll just run down from one to ten. Number one is Wish You Were Here. Uh, number Knocking. two is Ludwig van Beethoven's Symphony Number no. Nine. Damn. Number three is Illmatic. Number four is Charles Mingus's The Black Saint and the Sinner Lady. Number five is Kind of Blue. Uh, number six is, is Sergei Rachmaninoff. What do you know about him? Yeah. Um, number seven is Enter the Wu Tang. Number eight is I Love Supreme. And number nine is Mozart. And number 10 is Megadeth's Rust in Peace. <laughs> what the okay. fuck? Get out of here. I, I, I can't find um, the Love Supreme album was the on the list of album. ones I've chosen. It was the fourth album I gave between Blackwater Park and Get to Heaven by Morgan. All right, Get to Heaven, Get to Heaven, Get to Heaven, Get to Heaven, Get to Heaven. Get to heaven. I've got a lit running. Oh, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Yeah, we could just move on. Well, no, yeah. I have to give two albums now because I have to replace... All right, yeah, 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 I found it, I found it. Thank you, I found it. Good. Okay, so I'm going to replace A Love Supreme with um, with Murmur by R.E.M. Nice. Um, and I'm going to replace Illmatic with... Um, um, Dots How many albums do you have on your Stereo list? Lab. Hmm. There are lots of fans of Stereo Lab on Twitter, so I think I, guess. I like, I like <laughs> those choices. Um, nice, they're good choices. Yeah, no, they are absolutely. Um, uh, right, so now I guess to ask Tyler a question. Oh yes. my god, number thirty-four. Um, right, I'm gonna gratuitously add a options one to this. Um, how many Grammys has Bjork been nominated for without winning? Um, and your options are between 10 and 15 inclusive. Without winning. Has she, has she won a Grammy? She probably has won at least No. no. Okay, she hasn't. Okay. That's disgusting. The Amy um, Adams of music. <laughs> Got him. I wouldn't, if you so had not given me up. choices, if you had not given me choices, no. I would not have guessed as high as even 10. So that's no, honestly. 10, 10, 11, 12, 13. I went to the Wikipedia page, looked up her, her awards, went to Grammys and counted. Um, okay. 10, okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I will say then, purely on the basis of my own uh, skepticism, 10. It is 15. Wow. Damn. Good for her. Good well, for her. No that, that, that gift oh, I just gave her the answer. Her. Oh no! Thank it's God it wasn't answer. just me. Good. <laughs> that's okay. We've got plenty of questions. Let's just keep moving. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We, we, number... We've only got twenty-six left. So next number is twenty-seven. Uh, first up is August asking Jake. Okay, this is going to be a podcast-related one. How many mm. albums has Backwash released? Three. Incorrect. Damn it! This. Sersha. Sersha. It's two. Bingo. It is two. It's Black Sailor Moon in that one. Damn it. Black Sailor Moon is an EP, Jake. It is? Yeah. That's why I'm on DVC, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's DVNC and uh, the one we reviewed. Uh, yeah. Okay, Sersha, you're an next album. All right. Right. It's going to be Hi, How Are You by Daniel Johnson. Oh, nice. Very good. It's not a bad pick. I like that. Uh, okay, so. Um, Morgan asking August. Okay, so who is the singer on the Massive Attack single Teardrop? Damon Alburn. Incorrect. <laughs> I would have never, I do not know at all. <laughs> when was the song released? 1997. Damon Alburn's a good not. guess. Um, it really wasn't, but. 
Um, it's going to be someone who would fit Mass Attack's um, aesthetic, which is not many people. Um, I know. Uh, yeah, no, skip me. I'm not going to get this. All right. So does Jake? that go to Jake? Yeah. Oh, fuck off. I don't know. Uh, uh, pass. I'm, I'm not going to make myself look like an idiot. Okay. All right. I happen to know the answer. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Elizabeth Fraser from Cocteau Twins. That is correct. Oh. Um, not have got that. Yep. Okay. So, pressure's on. Two more albums to add for me. This um, means that you all need to listen to Massive Attack. Yeah. I mean, the album <laughs> that's on is already in this bracket, so... No, it's yeah, good. it's a mezzanine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, one I really want to say, but I feel like August might have it, is... Um, um, so, I'm not going to say it. Um, but if he doesn't have it, I'm going to feel sad. Is Velocity Design Comfort by Sweet Trip. Um, mm. But I'm not going to say it. Uh, I'm going to say for this one instead, and hope that if he does have it, he nominates it. For this one instead, I'm going to say, um, oh, fuck me, this is hard. Um, That's a line from a porno. I was thinking that goddamn same thing. All right, I'm just going to go for the favorite of mine. I can hear the heart beating as one by Yola Tingo. That's a good choice. Oh, I had that. Fuck. More like a, if I'd known like, you had that, I wouldn't have seen it. More like what a Yola Tango. Um, yeah, anyway. I'm yeah, proud of that, Morgan. Uh, you shouldn't um, be. I am. Um, my, like, two of my favourite things ever in, in music is that album and the soundtrack to Old Joy, which they also did. Yeah, they're brilliant. Uh, okay, next up is uh, Sersha asking Morgan. All right, aside from Infinite, which Eminem album peaked the lowest in America? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Revival? I don't know. No. That gives me August. a shot. Yep. Okay. To be quite honest with you, I'm proud that I don't know Eminem. I, I was going to say, like, you really shouldn't feel that ashamed, honestly. Wait, what, what, what was the question number again? I want to look up the notes. I have my answer. Because I know the it's answer in my head. But I want to... 27, thank you. I'll give you a second to do that. Yeah, no, I've got it. I've got it. Carry on. Um, is it... Relapse. No. Oh, damn. Who's next? I could maybe Jake. name five Eminem albums. Jake, you're next. Kamikaze. No. Damn. Okay, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say uh, The Eminem Show. No. Okay, so wow. one needs to know that every... This peaked at two. And every album after it peaked at one. Recovery? Is um, it Recovery? It's a Slim Shady LP. Oh, wow. So. Okay. It was, hel that's, it was that's held off. Holy shit. I would have never I, gotten that in a million um, years. It was held off by Fan Mail by TLC. And um, it replaced, at number two, uh, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Oh, hmm. that's disgusting. No, yeah. I think it's genuinely impressive that every album since has been number one. Yeah, no, that's yeah. impressive yeah. and embarrassing right. in equal measure. <laughs> <laughs> Next to play Everything is Embarrassing by Sky Ferreira. Wow. That is such right. a good song. So do, yes, do I get... Is. Do I, is that a fair enough question that I get to pick an album or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd say so. All right, yeah. All right I'm going to pick Tapestry by Carole King. Oh, all right. Very good. Okay, um, uh, it's my turn to ask Sersha. Okay. Uh, in their 2003 special issue entitled The 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, which record did Rolling Stone magazine name the greatest album of all time? It's going to be something obnoxious and dumb. Um, what's the most obnoxious album you can pick as the best album of all time? Um, the White Album by The Beatles. Nope. Uh, August, do you want to go? Um, okay. I know 
I don't think it's uh, Born to Run, but I know that place very highly. So, and I think Search is on the right track with the Beatles album. So, yeah. I'm gonna say I think it's Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yep, that's the right answer. Motherfucker! Oh, so annoying. If you I was gonna guess Abbey Road too. Damn it. If you want to pick a very obnoxious best album of all time, there are so many choices from the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. so August, your next album. Let's go with Spiderland by Slint. Very good. Oh. I was hoping someone would put that in. By whom? Slint. Slint. S L I N T. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, Jake, you were trying to ask me. What question? 27. Ah, oh, this, this you'll know that Spencer ever watches this will be shouting. Uh, which David Bowie album did Robert Fripp, guitarist of King Crimson, collaborate on? A. Diamond Dogs. B. Hunky Dory. C. Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. D. Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. Uh, I, th- I think I'm not comp- I'm not 100, percent but I'm pretty sure it's Scary Monsters. That is correct. Yeah, my second favorite Bowie album. Good um, album. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, okay, so that means this is my last um, addition to the poll. Oh, oh the bracket. The final countdown. So this is really, 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 really tough. Um, um, it's had it all explode. Mm. I at least at number two, in terms of questions gotten right. Um, You're probably at two, yeah, probably, I'd imagine. August, can I ask you, do you have that Sweet Trip album on your list? I do not. Okay, well, I'm going to say the Sweet Trip album then. All right. Um, Velocity, pick, Design, Comfort. Yes. Uh, honestly, I didn't put it on there because I figured you might. Okay. <laughs> um, and I just, since I'm finished um, uh, answering questions, but I can still ask them, I'm just going to rattle off really quickly some of the albums I didn't get to add um, in case oh. any of you have them and want to say them. Uh, mm. I also had, really quickly, uh, Jizz's Liquid Swords, Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life, Joy Division's Closer, Porcupine Trees in Absentia, Prince's Purple Rain, Craftworks' Trans Europe Express, Built to Spill's Perfect From Now On, Tom Waits's Rain Dogs, Wire's Cheers Missing, Flying Lotus's Cosmogramma, the Replacements, Let It Fuck. Be, Shoe Shoes, A Promise, Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders, Agalox, The Mantle, D'Angelo's Voodoo, The Falls, Hex, Induction Hour, Guided by Voices, B Thousand, Boris's Pink, Slow Dive's Souvlaki, and Yes's Close to the Edge. So, I have one of those. Tyler Core. How many do I have left, Tyler? From me, unfortunately. How many albums do I have left? Uh, do you have left, Sersha? You have another eight yeah. to add. No, sorry, seven oh, more to add. Oh, cool. Um, That's fine. All right, so uh, next up, we've got a new number. Uh, I won't be answering any questions just, anymore, but I'll still be asking them. Just for the record, I only have one left. Yes. <laughs> How many do I have left? Oh, wait. No, well, Morgan, we need. I need two more albums from you. Oh, okay. I've, bit, I've miscalculated somewhere, but that's no, no big deal. Nineteen twenty. Okay, so the next number is 21. Uh, and first up is Morgan asking Jake. Okay. Uh, brand new song, 70 times 7, is about a member of another emo band that were coming up around the same time as them. Which band is the subject of this song in? Uh... 70 times 7, that's, uh, th- that's a song on your favorite weapon, right? Mm-hmm. And they come from the same place. That being Long Island. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Who's up? Um, sure. 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 Um. Mm. I would have guessed some Midwestern band and then people would have yelled at me. Especially after I told you they were from New York. And this yeah, is from Brand New? Did I you say? where people are from. Uh-huh. All right. Um, Taking Back Sunday? 
That is correct. Wow. Hmm. Good guess. Wow. Okay, so Taking Back you. Sunday, a band that will not feature on this list. No. They have like three <laughs> songs at a push. <laughs> I would say they have three good albums. Okay. Uh, that, that is on brand for track. Morgan. I'm definitely not going to put them All right. on the list. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with The Suburbs by Arcade Fire. Hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, interesting choice from them. Yeah, I would have no, gone Funeral. Is... Yeah. Wild card. <laughs> At least you can say everything now. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wouldn't, said, uh, I wouldn't have said this, but my secret um, favorite Arcade Fire album is Neon Bible, which... No yeah, one. Tyler! I yeah! Anyway... Let's go. Anyway, uh, Sersha, your turn to ask August. Right. Um, okay, so what? which band used a photo of... Um, the suicide of a member as the cover for a cassette. Fuck. I know, I know the album cover. Yeah. So oh, I did. I That's, know. Yeah. I, I know, I, cannot. I know a version of this question's answer. Uh, so does Morgan. Shit. You say yeah. you just have to name um, the group, right? Yes. Yeah, you just have to name the group. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank, frankly. So, pass. Okay. So that's Jake, then? Yeah, I think. Oh, the only band that I know that did that would be the uh, progressive death metal band Death, but that's probably not it. So. Um, that's, that's not, not that's who I'm old. thinking of. That's not... What are you talking about? I thought that they did that for, like, an EP or some shit. Leave me alone. New. New. You know, that would be Mayhem. Oh. It would be mayhem. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, Morgan. Okay. Your album. <sighs> Only two left. Shit. I would kick myself if this isn't in the running, so I'm going to throw on the Refuse, The Shape of Punk to Come. I knew that was coming. Nice. Very good. Well, I mean, I, I, like, to cover music broadly, I feel like it has to. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Um, I was tempted to almost say it myself. All right, my uh, my turn to ask Morgan. Um, so, okay. One of the replacement's most successful singles is named after the lead singer of which beloved 70s power pop band? Skip me. I so I have to name the band and not the member. You know what? Because of the obscurity of the question, I would give you the point if you could name either the, the, the person the song's named after or their band. But I think the band is more well known. Power Pop. Uh, the New York Dolls were the. Was it the New York Dolls? Uh, nope. Um, Damn it. I'll off, off, offer this one to August. Uh, sticks. No, that, I don't think they're a power pop band. Uh, no, I, I Sersha, do you not, know this? Um, I might Google, um, but I, I am not googling. Don't worry. Um, where, where are you typing? So I got my eye on you. Okay. Is it it's Blondie? Singular eye. It's not Blondie. Uh, Jake, do you want to have a guess? <laughs> Fucking no. Like I'm taking so it as you don't want to try it. Yeah, um, I no, I'll make a fool of myself. Okay. So the power pop band is Big Star. Um, oh. And of course the sense. song is the song is Alex Chilton. Uh, right. Right. got it. Right. Yeah. Great song. Great song. Okay. Great band. Yeah. Okay. Never would have gotten um, that, but it's like I should have. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. All right, Jake, your turn to ask Sersha. What number? Hello. 21. All right. This is interesting considering you are the only member of this podcast that did not engage in this particular B-Sides. What Love is it. the highest selling Mars Volta album? Is it A, The Bedlam and Goliath, B, De Loused in the Comatorium, C, Octahedron, D, Francis the Mute? Keep in mind, I have no chance of getting this through logic. Um, yeah. 
So I octahedron. Go on. It is Francis the Mute. That was my second Stop. choice. Stop. Fuck. Stop. Number two was Bedlam and Goliath. Jake, Jake, Just make you, sure should Jake. August, you should have let August get, have a chance to answer that. Yeah, yeah. you should have done it, it's true. Oh, uh, well, fucking, he would have known. No, that's yeah. the whole yeah. point. That's the point. Then give him the fucking answer. Let him pick an album. I'll let him pick an what album because I'm pretty confident August would have got that. Yeah, he yeah. Um, so okay. August, what's your album? Uh, hmm. Because Tyler mentioned it, I think it's a good thing to go with. Let's go with uh, Suvalaki by Solodai. Good pick. Nice. Good pick. Nice. Awesome. I'm glad that got shouted out. Okay. Um, uh, it's, uh, I'm not being asked a question, so skip that. Yeah. Um, so we go to a new number, 36. Um, and first up is Morgan asking Jay. Mm. Wait, is it? Didn't, did, isn't that what we did last time? That Sorry, did yes, last time. you're right. So it's Sersha asking Jake this time. Ah. And it's 36, you say? Yeah. Mm. Well, he has a chance of getting this. Um, what is the origin of the title of the album The Dream Is Over by Pup? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've heard that so who's twice. Who is so who's next? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot because I think that's a kind of descript enough title. Is Would it be like uh, one of the band members dying? Um, it is to do with medicine and a band member. But um, not that. So, okay. Anyone well, else? Is it about one of the band members' opium addiction? I don't know. N no, no. Someone's being recommended by a doctor to take some, uh, what's that, melatonin? <laughs> <laughs> the dream. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that would make you dream more, not least. Um, okay, Sersha, no one knows. You Fuck left it. Okay. Uh, I was so hoping Jake would get this. Um, basically, the lead singer. Um, the, the doctor found cysts on his vocal cords, um, which normally means your singing is done. And he said to him, well, the dream is over. Well, mm. I, don't, I have no idea how the hell anyone would have known that. No. Oh, I, I saw it in an interview with them, so. Yeah. Um, all right, Sersha, your next album. Right. Um, let me have a look. Um, a gander. Uh, I am going to go with um, the Violet Femmes subtitle. Nice. I like that. Thank you. Very Thank you, good. Tyler. All right. Um, next up is me for August. So, okay. Oh, yeah. um, which hardcore punk band released the influential records Fresh Fruit Fruit for Rotting Vegetables and Plastic <clears throat> Surgery Kennedy's. Disasters? There you go. Dead Kennedys. Yeah, that was that was engineered for August. Yeah. Very good. Yep. My uh, mom your was album a big August? Dead Kennedys fan, so there was no way I wasn't getting that. Yeah. So, Honestly, uh, I think that might have been engineered for anyone, but yeah. Jake, no offense. <laughs> None taken, you're right. Uh anyways. Let's throw on Discovery by Daft Punk. Nice. That's nice. a good one for the poll. We have such good taste as a group. Okay, Jake, ask Morgan question 36. All right, Morgan. Oh, and Brand. What is the highest selling Tool album? Is it A, Anima, B, 10,000 Days, C, Undertow, or D, Lateralis? I'm going to say... 10,000 days. It is anima, actually. Yeah, sure it is. Jake, can oh, you well, fuck you? You've done it again. I'm sorry. It's just yeah. reflexive. Let's move on. Uh, August, you okay. should ask Sosha. Okay, this will be a fun one. Uh, name three Japanese bands. 
No. <laughs> hey, I could at least name two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I get... Wow. I'm sure I do know that many Japanese fans, but I'm not going to try. Who's um, next? Uh, is it Jake? Jake is next, yeah. Uh, fuck. Um, the five, six, seven, eights. That's one. Um... Otoboke Beaver Japanese? That is two. Okay. Um, and <laughs> do I get. I, I guess it's not a band, but it's an artist. I will I not say, count that. Oh, motherfucker. If it's an artist, I said bands. He did. <sighs> I was going to say gacked. Damn, that's an artist too. Son of a bitch. Um. <sighs> Kirayamoka. <laughs> Fuck you. What's uh, that, Jake, 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 there's a band that I love. You I think I have. Um, there's also a band that I albums. recommended earlier. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh, I, I have, oh, fact, I have oh, a oh, 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 shut up, shut up. Let me think, let me think. Who is this? Um, it's August mentioned them on the last podcast episode when he talked about repetition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fuck! I don't think you. This is. I don't think you're gonna come. But this one's gonna come to you, Jake. It's pretty you're, you're, I mean, hard you're to remember. Right, but, but like, the one I like you is a very simple. Has a very simple name. Yeah, it go does. ahead and say the one you're you're thinking of because I'm not gonna think of that one. No, before. let's let's but move I'm it to Morgan. I'm gonna steal. Yeah, uh, Morgan steal. Rad wimps. Uh, baby oh, metal. Fucker! Damn it! Well, don't be mad at me. I mean, I'm mad at myself. Right. Uh, I'm I'm annoyed at myself. And the five, six, seven, well. eights. Still there you up. go. I was Do trying bands? to to remember the name of Fishman's, but it doesn't. I thought you were going to say Boris or. I didn't know that Fishman's too. was Japanese. And also Shinsei Kamate Chan being. That's yeah. the other Morgan, one. And your final album. Okay, this the is. Final oh. album. Okay, I'm gonna throw this out there. Does anyone have Metallica's Master of Puppets? I have Ride the Lightning. I have Ride okay. the Lightning. Are you, going, are you going to use either of those? Probably not. How about uh, you, August? Uh, if, you, if you have a better one, go for it. Well, I, He's saying go for it, Morgan. Well, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Uh, Pro Jam's 10. Yeah. All right. Better album That's anyway. A good one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that was waiting for Tyler's question. Yelling at me. So um, you didn't pick Vitalogy. <laughs> Vitalogy wouldn't fucking win. Wait, August, who did you initially ask that question to? I initially asked it to Sersha. Okay, so wait, so this is Morgan. Oh wait, no, Morgan. Now I don't get asked questions anymore. Yeah, so yeah. If you ask Jake, yeah. neither no, do you I. Get to ask. New number. You just don't four. Think. New number is four. Four. Um, oh, um, Morgan already asked my four. Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Well then, you can. It's okay because this, this for this number, you are going to be asking me anyway. But I'm already out. It so doesn't you, matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, so my question for for Jake is, um, which album were Talking Heads touring at the time the legendary concert film and record Stop Making Sense was recorded? Fear of Music? No. If you've seen it, think about the songs that are on it. Um, so I'll give this to uh, all... I'll give this to Sersha next because... I, yeah, I can't there. answer anymore. Yeah. Um, I have. I have. No, I have literally no idea, but I'm gonna guess and say speaking in tongues. Correct. It's the right answer. Yep. Oh. That was my second son of a bitch. That is um, the album fantastic. that the most songs on spe- on stop making sense are yeah. from. I knew that. That's what it informed my decision. That's what informed my decision. I'm thinking about that. How many do I have left? Uh, this will be your sixteenth, so you'll have five, including this. Five. So, right, let me review my sure. options. Do I have 15 also? Or... Yeah, you do. Okay. Do I have? Jake, you have, um, you haven't got one right in ages. 
Um, well, you thanks, have, uh, asshole. You're on the same number as those two, so you've got five 15. more to go as well. Okay. I'm going to be super fucking basic and go with The Color and the Shape by Foo Fighters. Oh, I have that on my list. Nice. nice. Well, it owns, I remember so. shouting yeah. the chorus to Monkey Wrench with Jay because he drove me back from the airport. Yes. It's not the best Foo Fighters, but it is immense. Very good. All right, Jake, you're trying to ask August. Yeah. Number one. Four. Four. <laughs> this is the one question where I was just like, well, if August gets it, he's definitely going to get it right. <laughs> what is the highest selling Bruce Springsteen album? Is it A, The River, B, Born in the USA, C, Born to Run, or D, Greetings from Asbury Park? It's Born in the USA. Correct. Yeah. And I feel on that note, I'm just going to say Nebraska by Bruce Springsteen Yay! is my recommendation. It's good. good. I had to leave. I had to leave on dark. Leave off darkness on the edge of town. So that was good. Nebraska. He made um, the list. All right. Uh, Toby August, can suck my fat. <laughs> Actually, no. Morgan doesn't get any more questions because he's finished. Is Morgan asking me? Yes. Uh, but yes, I get I to ask them, don't I? Yeah. You, yes. Yeah, yes. Right. So you're asking me. You're asking okay. Me. Okay. What is the last song that Freddie Mercury ever recorded? Oh. It's going to be something poetically ironic. Um, no. no. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm really right sure there, Tyler? On, on mid-career queen, less so on late-career queen. Um, it's okay, you're not the only one. When, when, when yeah. Morgan said it's going to be something poetically ironic. <laughs> My first thought was... <laughs> Please, please tell us. Please tell us, Tyler. Please tell us, Tyler. That's stupid. It's not even funny. My first thing was, do they have a song? I don't like where where this is going. I do. Please, Tyler. (laughs) I need to know. Your your imagination is probably even funnier. I was just going to say, do they have a song called I'm Dying? (laughs) All right, is it We Are the Champions? No. I don't know. The only one that is like super late career that's coming to my mind, which I Streets doubt Streets of Philadelphia. Is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoy hell. Sergio <laughs> uh, left. Wow. Made in heaven. <laughs> That is the album that it's on, but that is not the song. Shit. I knew that would be the album it was on. It's a very good oh. guess, though. Did Sergio Go give ahead. up the question? I get, yeah. Yeah. Jake, do you know? Yeah, this is mm-hmm. one for Jake, then. Mother Love. That is correct. Okay. Was it the Lonely Island song? N- no. No, no, no matter, not at all. Matter of fact. Well, actually, I mean, if you look at the lyrics to Mother Love, it is kind of poetically ironic. But what is about incest? As Morgan said, I hope you enjoy hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just busy. Um, <laughs> On the note of being cursed and picking dead artists, I picked Grace by Jeff Buckley. Nice. Is that right. not, did we not already pick that? I, I think we, we did. did. did I? Uh, was that a question, I think? No, you're right. Oh, you're right. It was the answer yeah. to an artist who will only have one album. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Or at least Grace. Where it's on the, I'm, I'm oh, Grace by Jeff Buckley. Did I miss any albums? Have we yeah, made Grace albums? by Jeff Buckley. Have we made sure Thank it's you. not on there? I'm pretty sure it's not. We've not had that. Because I'm so the far. only one who would have picked it, and I didn't pick it yet. Well, that's not necessarily true. It's on my list. I just didn't it get it. It wasn't in this button. I, I'm team, was it? fairly sure it has not no, been picked yet. Okay, new number is two. Uh, and Ooh. the first question <laughs> is um, uh, August for Jake. Jake, of the four songs on that album, which is the longest on Metal Machine Music by Lou Reed? <laughs> <laughs> what are my options? Exactly. One, two, three, and four. Oh, it's just yeah. that's what they're called. Uh, See, yeah, the funny thing is I've actually heard Metal Machine Music before, but... Um, this is such an August question. Yeah, um... Ah, fuck it. Let's say uh, two. 
wrong. Sersha? Fair enough. Um, well, somebody will get to it. Yeah, exactly. Three. Wrong. There is no longest song on metal machine music. They're all equal length. You can't have trick questions. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh, bullshit, I can't. No, you can't. So what we'll do is, um, no one got that, but you don't get to pick an album. Yet. Okay, fine. Um, Morgan, <laughs> ask August a question. Uh, okay, you should get this one. Okay. This is definitely an August question. Hmm. After the break of uh, oops, Jesus, after the breakup of At the Drive-In, the group splintered into two separate bands. One being the Mars Volta. What is the name of the other band? Uh, uh, mm. oh, man, I really thought this would be a gimme. No, it should be. Beto O'Rourke. <laughs> Fuck, dude. No, I, I, I'll I, just throw out an answer. I know it's not right, but uh, Bosnian Rainbows? Nope. Nope. I figured. So anybody I'm else presuming that Sergio doesn't want to guess this. Um, what was the question? I mean, considering I don't even know. It's such a long question. All right, skip me then. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's not presumptuous to say that Sergio won't know it. Um, no, no, it's not. All right, I've got a question for Sasha though. Um, drive in two. Hello. How many Wait, is studio Jake, albums? Is Jake, have... is Jake done? Hey. Yeah, I think Jake. Oh, was that Jake's question? I thought it was um, Morgan's question. Yeah, that was my question to August, but has yeah. Jake not? Jake didn't get a chance to answer it. Oh no, I don't have an answer. Yeah, he oh, said he right. wasn't well, going to try. Yeah, what is it though? Sparta. My my okay. question. My They're question quite good. Sasha. The first um, album is anyway. Is. How many studio albums have Radiohead released to date? To date? Yeah. All right, so we've got Pablo How many have the they released today? OK Computer. Uh, <laughs> um, It'd be hilarious today, if the surprise Amnesia, Hail to the Thief. Episode is released. Um, Hail to the Thief, In Rainbows, Moonshape Pool. Can't think of any others, but I feel like there might be. But I definitely won't think of any more, so I'm going to say eight. Wrong. Mm. Who's next? Um, well, you're all on the Looking same. Forward to... I'll give it to August next. Alphabet. Okay. So, I get the feeling. Gotta run through these in my head. Wikipedia. I what album did I miss? Jesus. I wish I was paying attention. Oh, I, rem I remember which one I missed. I remember what I missed. Can I have another go? Is it oh, nine? Man. Well, yeah, you basically just told him the answer. Yeah, I was going to say Morgan just kind of... Fuck, sorry. Yeah, well, the one I missed nine. was King of Limbs. It is nine. Uh, so, August, you're The one I missed was King of one. Limbs. Kill me. TK. Okay. Um, let's go with a band we've mentioned, but if not picked one from peace cells but who's buying by megadeth better choice than the first album rest in okay. peace not their first album we didn't have a megadeth album so far did we nope no. that's also not regrettably true. we have not had a megadeth album yet um all right the next oh, number is the next number is 22 super collider so morgan you were 22nd question for jake well, he knows this one. Who produced the uh, Lamb of God's second album? Oh, Devin Townsend. There you go. Jake, who's the uh, second album? I'm going to pick. Have we done a Black Sabbath album? I don't think so. Master no. of Reality by Black Sabbath. Yeah, go away. Very good. Um, and it means. Um, I get to ask August a question. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you do. All right, just... there are five possible answers to this. Okay. Because this question refers to five lines, some of which are repeated. Um, I will accept any of the five lines to which this question refers. <laughs> what do the French lines in Psycho Killer by the Talking Heads mean in English? I have no idea. <laughs> no earthly idea. I'm no Psycho Killer. Is that one? No. <laughs> Um, okay. 
Uh, I will let, well, let me say let, there's no one else but Jake to answer this. Well, okay. I just want to get, it won't mean anything, but I want to guess, does Keska say mean like, how are you? Uh, close. Something um, like so that. So the, the five lyrics are Keska say, Shaka Jefe, Seswala, Shaka la di la swala, Yulis mon espoir, Je miller ne la gua. Okay, and those collectively mean. What is that? What I did tonight? What she said tonight? Realizing my hope, I start towards glory. You weren't How expecting David someone said. to know all of those, were you? No, I was expecting no she to know just one said name one. All right, okay, cool. That's all right. Just checking, just checking. I mean, we should. Um, I was hoping that's more of a language say, question than a that? music question. But all right, Sir, so you get to pick an album then. No one got it. I so I have four left. I want to say. I want to say four. Yeah, you, you do have four left. Oh, it's going to be hard. Um, I'm going to start really thinking about this one now. Um, I'm going to go with, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go with Punisher by Phoebe Bridges. Oh, that's right. good. oh my God. That's Let's go. I had to leave that off. That was cool. Very good. Um, okay. Sir, I love you. So <laughs> you're welcome. I love you too. Now it, is time for Jake, the now it is time for Jake to ask Sersha his 20 second question. 20 second question. That is, okay, Sersha. Hello. Uh, <laughs> how many solo albums does Omar <laughs> Re- Rodriguez Lopez have? A, 19, B, 54, C, 37, D, 25. Well, I would not have gone with any of them. Um, here's a new one out this year that I intend to listen to. Um, I didn't even fucking know that. He <laughs> just shits them uh, out at this point. I'm going to go with the one in the 20s. The one in the 20s? Yeah. Well, you know what, Sersha? That is hey, correct. Jake, let me answer, it's... let me answer, let me answer. Just not going to let you spoil this one. But But she's right. Oh, she's right? Dang it. Yeah, she's right. It's 25. Shit. I was, I was like, like oh. I, ah, damn. Wow. There are okay. I hate it. Sorry, right, I've, <laughs> okay, I have good, three though. choices left, and I have um, uh, five left that I've highlighted as priority, six left that I've highlighted as priorities. Um, and purely for the fact that it has androgynous on it, which is one of the best songs ever written by anyone. Let ever. it be. Let it be. By the room. Yeah. Thank it's you. I'm so, like, legitimately, thank you for saying this album because I was so gutted that I didn't get to say it. The superior Let It That's Be. Absolutely fine. It is a superior Let It Be. Sersha, hey, I Let just, It Be is one of the best. I people. love you for saying this album, Sersha, because it's amazing. Thank mm. you. Well, I love you anyway, Tyler. Well, I would, of course, love you regardless. Um, now, somebody could do me the favor of saying a Joy Division album. Nobody yeah, I will add closer on my long list as well, so. And also, I think I'm surprised no one said a New Order album either. Um, anyway, I had to leave it off and I was sad. Well, Joy Division are better, so. They're not. Well, it's okay. just demonstrably false, but whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. So next round of questions. Yeah. Next number is uh, 31. And so we start off with Sersha's question for Jake. All right, let me find the question. Um, 31. Not fireworks. All right, there are a lot of answers to this. I'm just going to count them for you. Um, one, two, three. Um, yeah. Four, five, six seven, eight possible answers. Okay. What, ev- what evidence does Katy Perry give us that California girls are unforgettable? Fuck. Daisy Duke's bikinis on top? Those are two of the possible answers. Oh, shit. Very good. Uh, you don't get two Jake. albums from it, but, you know. Jake, you're I mean, look. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna take what I can get. Uh, you know, asked, I just want to point out that Sersha just asked a Katy Perry question. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a podcast and I'd like to point in which out that I knew the answer. Yeah. That, but it was in a podcast in which 
an Autecker album was nominated for the best album of all time. Uh, it didn't make it past the first round, too. I'm going to go for you, champ. with... Unless it goes up against, like, Go Farther and Lightness, and then you can go to Hill. <laughs> I'm going to go with The Seer by Swans. Oh! Ooh. I had completely forgot about it. Swans. I'm surprised well, it took dare you? just once to get nominated. Jesus. Yeah. 92? Jesus. Okay. Um, awesome. All right, my question for August. Okay. The New York City rock resurgence of the early 2000s spawned a number of popular and beloved bands that defined the era. But which of these bands most famous in that era were not based in New York? Based. The Strokes, The White Stripes, The Year, Year, Years, Interpol. Okay. Mm. I think, I know it's not The Strokes. They were definitely New Yorkers. Uh, shit. My gut instinct is Interpol. You gonna go with Interpol? It's the wrong answer. Keep quiet, everyone. Uh, that means that Sersha gets to go next. Okay. I'm going to go with the White Stripes. Correct answer. Do yeah. you know where, where they're you. from? Um, I'm going to guess the Midwest somewhere. I don't think this is in the Midwest, although my American and geography is a bit spotty. They are from uh, Detroit. Yeah, that's oh. Midwest. That's ish. Uh, that's ish. closer to like... It's closer to us than it is hey, in the Midwest. call it more no. the Mideast. I, <laughs> yeah, I want I mean, you to I know guess, that my yeah, answer true. to that question was based entirely on the accents of the singers. Well, that's a good basis. Um, oh, yeah. uh, All right, your album. Right. Um, your 19th selection. This is fucking terrifying, I want you to know. Um, although you guys probably already know that. Um, Do we? Mm, I would kick myself if I didn't have an album by Muse on this. Um, and I, go, I don't think Jake or August would have one. So I'm going to go with, so not my favourite, my favourite is Showbiz, but the one that's most likely to win is Origin of Symmetry. And that's the one I put on my list. So it's the correct Muse or, album. Or, or Origin for this Symmetry call. or Absolution. That is, those, those are the two that I would uh, I'd co-sign. Nice. I love right. how it looks like this is good. This poll's going to have a Muse album, but not a radio album. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all in the top tens of everything. So yeah. Someone I could have seen a moon shaped pool. Someone you could have seen that. Well, we like relied on you for that. That's true. my question to Sersha, though. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Not counting collaborative records such as Watch the Throne and Kids See Ghosts, name every studio album by Kanye West. Um, I won't be able to, but I'll have a go. Um, go if you think college dropout, um, college dropout, ye, Jesus, like for Pablo, Jesus of King, um, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Um, there's ones in the middle in his <laughs> early career that I'm missing. Um, I think I've got all of his late albums. Um, uh, the rest of the college dropout trilogy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, does that count? I'm counting that. <laughs> okay. Well, then I've got nothing for you. Jake. Jake, can you name the rest of them? Okay. Um, we've got late registration in the college dropout, graduation, 808s and heartbreak, uh, um, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, Jesus is King, the life of Pablo, um, uh, yay. Uh, what's the one I'm missing? I, I said albums you haven't said that might help. Uh, see, now they're running together. No um, more hints. So th think, think about ye or yay. Don't and know. Then make it longer. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, ye. Let me go back. Ye. Let me go back. We've ye. got. My, 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 my. Look, I said I my beautiful dark twisted but... fantasy. Yeah. Did. And then? Uh, I, I did I say my life of Pablo? Yes. Mm -hmm. and then? 
Jesus. This. There, we there go. you go. That's there it. it. Is. Was that, is that it? it? Yeah. That's it. Oh, okay. Got all nine. I could. Uh, oh, yeah. Um. Right, your album. No, nah, I couldn't. Did we do uh, Hounds of Love by Kate Bush? We did. I guess. We did. We did. Fuck. Um, oh, this is so fucking hard. Uh, I mean, I just made it easier for you by telling you one that's already there. That's real helpful. Thank <laughs> you. I really appreciate it. Um, you should do a moonshade pull by Radiohead. Look, that was one of the ones I'm. I'm consi- How many do more do I have left? This is your second last one. So you've okay, got- moonshade pool. I'm doing it. All right. King. Nice. Somebody had to do it. Yeah, it's just going to be me. And it wasn't wasn't Tyler. So. Okay. Were so um, might as well have been the beta this? version of Tyler. Next question. I'm not sure that's true. But. Okay. Next question is number three. Oh. Um, right. And my my question hmm. for Jake. Um, is which album received the 2020 Grammy for Album of the Year? The Lion King soundtrack. (laughs) The gift. Music from the Lion King. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it is. It's the Beyonce one. Fuck Um, off. What Beyonce one? Yeah. Yeah, she, she made she made an album inspired by The Lion King called The Gift. Yeah. And you um, think that one album of the year at the Grammy? No, that was my joke need, answer. No, that, that was the joke. joke. I, need, I have an answer I think it is, but well, I could easily Jake, be wrong. Jake's entitled to give an answer. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Give an answer, Jake. Uh yeah, Jake. Okay, give an well here, here's well here's the most popular <laughs> album, so I guess this is the, the, the one I'll do is uh When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go by Billy Eilish. It's the right answer. Oh! Damn, I thought it was Igor. Did you not remember that um, that album swept the Grammys this year? I don't think it swept to the fucking Grammys. Okay. Well, Well, the Grammys doesn't give shit to Bjork, so. Yeah. We'll have to probably discuss them on the podcast when they come around again next. Oh, yeah. We probably will. To be culturally relevant. Yeah, I mean, Tyler's correct. All right, Jake, your last album. I'm going to have heard like half of the albums nominated, maybe. Do I want to nominate something personal, or do I nominate something that actually has a chance at winning? Do personal. That's what I say. Personal. I'd say do chance to winning, just to be chaotic. Yeah, we're there. I'll, I'll, I'll find the one that's the best mix of both. That's that's semi popular. No. I left off on the impossible past and southeastern just because I couldn't stand to watch them. Yeah, I can't vote for on the impossible past. On that note, I'll vote for My Woman by Angel Olsen. Mm. Cool. Good album. Mm. My wife. Uh, My wife. Okay. So, um, Jake, do you want to ask August a question? Number and that, what is the number? Three. Three. Uh, August, which of these hip hop collaborations was not produced by Mad Lib? Is okay. it A, Mad Villainy, B, Pinata, C, Liberation, D, Black Star? Hmm. Okay, I already know. I've already narrowed it down to two. So is Ibrahim. I'm, 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 I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. What? How did I do that? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say I it's, narrowed uh, it down to four. I wonder if Freddie Gibbs is a Mad Lib. I wonder if he produced that album. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go with Liberation. That is incorrect. It's Blake. He did, produ- he did produce Liberation. That's with Raekwon. Black Star is just most definitely Quilly. Okay. Well, now Sersha can't get that. Morgan for Sersha. Uh, okay. Uh, Queens, of- <laughs> okay. Queens of the Stone Age's song for the deaf, Songs for mm-hmm. the Deaf, has personnel from two grunge legends, the most notable of which being Dave Grohl. Who is the other? Yeah. I know you're right about the two grunge well, legends. Yeah, that's the question. Kurt Cobain. No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> everything he said is right, and I knew it, but beyond that, my knowledge is failing me. I listened to a whole fucking podcast about this album, Jesus. 
Um, not done by us, but they disbanded a while ago, the, the people who did the podcast. Um, Chris Novoselic. Nope. <laughs> Kill me. Um, is... Chad Channing. Not anyone from... The, no, it wouldn't be them. It wouldn't be them, not that kind of music. Um, ah. Elton John. <laughs> no, noted grunge legend, Elton John. Yeah. I'm not sure he respects him. Um, I loved I mean, look, his singing on Super Unknown. I mean, look, he was in Kingsman 2, and that's a pretty, like, low, no. Stop. great nope. movie. Stop. Nope. Um, stop. Nope. nope. No more. All right, yeah. Kingsman skip, 2 skip, skip to me. Songs for the Deaf. Skip, skip me. <laughs> All right, who else skip has me. a guess? Uh, well, it's only me left now. Yeah. Karen Egerton. And... Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Uh, he sings can... on the title track. Well, I haven't heard Songs for the Deaf. What the any... hell are you doing? I haven't heard any Queens of the Stone Age album for that much. So. <gasps> right, that, that, that um, band. Is so you? I'm Did sure they put are. Like, oh yeah, someone put light, light clockwork on. I'd put right? light clockwork on there because I'm a fucking person with ears. I feel like Songs so, yeah, I, would do better, but I have that's no still clue. a really great album. Well, Songs to the Death is the obvious choice. And light clockwork is superior. Yep. August. Yeah, it's better. So no guess. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Okay. It's Mark Lanigan <laughs> of Screaming Trees. Wouldn't have guessed. So Screaming right. Trees. That is a deliberately obscure question, but it is not. All right. It's certainly not impossible to know. All right. Well, no one I would be asking that. Tyler, but that's fine. Yeah. So new number is twenty-four. Um, twenty-four. And this is uh, August for J- uh, no Jake's done. Uh, Morgan for August. Okay. This is another grunge question. Oddly enough. Oh yeah. Uh, what was the name of the grunge supergroup featuring Allison Chains, Lane Staley, Pearl Jam's Mike McCready, and Screaming Trees Barrett Martin? This is another one I don't know. Brush up on your grunge, boy. Yeah, I know. I need to. Sersha? I am deeply aware of the group's existence, but their name escapes me. Okay, does Jake want to say it just for the funsies? No? Okay, it's mad season. <laughs> Wouldn't again. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I need to brush up on my grunge knowledge. Because you were Jesus. thinking Temple of the Dog, weren't you? Yep, sure was. Yeah, that was Chris Cornell in Pearl Jam. Yeah, my, my, my bad. I was confused there for a second. I was like, it was fucking whole? Okay, so does anyone get to... I wasn't paying attention. Does anyone get to... No. 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 Okay. Do not pass go. Do not connect two hundred dollars. Right, I have a question. We've got for... four albums left to go. I've got a question for Sersha. Um, Hello. Which is what the highest yes. rated? I, which is the highest rated David Bowie album on Rate Your Music? I think it's either going to be out of three, Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, Low, or Black Star. Um. And you must choose one. I know. Uh, I'm going to go with the rise and fall of Siggy Sardust. It's the correct answer. Uh, can I just punctuate this moment by flaunting something? Um, if I can no. find it. No. Just, just kind no. of surprised that Rate Your Music didn't be a hipster and put uh, um, Station to Station at number one. Mm. Well, well, right. Sersha, that's, I also that's have the that. flaunting. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, your um, final album, Sersha. Um, I just got all of my paper. I mean, Station uh, the Station is better than Ziggy Stardust, but... It's not, but that's fine. No, it really is. <laughs> nope. Not even all right. close. I'm, st- mm-hmm. I'm stuck between three albums of equal loving. Um, I've, got, I've got Atrocity Exhibition by Danny Brown, Bridge Ooh. of Trouble Woods by Simon and Garfunkel, Ooh. Something to Write Home About by the Get Up Kids. Ooh, those are three I very would good go choices. Bridge over troubled water because it was also on my list. I would go if yeah. I were advising you for the for the bracket. I would say atrocity exhibition would be the yeah. Best. That's the yeah, one that's, that's going to do the best. best. I mean, that's... the thing is, I love songs on the bridge over troubled water the most, but not the album. Yeah, I love the Get yeah. Up Kids for its overall sound, but not enough the songs. 
Yeah. And I think Atrocity Exhibition is right in the middle there. So Danny Brown's going to do well. Yeah. So we got oh, wow. any one of his albums would. That, that leaves me with three more records. Damn. Yeah, I'm thinking like we should call the game here and just let August pick three more. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no point really. Yeah. All right. Exactly. I'm fine so, with that. I, I would um, like to say that my question was also David Bowie related, though, just because that's funny. Very good. All right, so let's, before August gives us three, let's do, like, the, the, the game um, scores, because, like, like who came first, and et cetera. Oh. Me last, obviously. So, so. Yeah, August came up the rear. Um, <laughs> I knew I would, so I'm not disappointed. Uh, then Sersha, um, in an admirable second last. Then Jake. Thank you. Uh, and then... I don't know, in the Morgan, middle, third Morgan last. Morgan in the first loser place. And then myself <laughs> at the end of the table. I'm and Tyler honest, was I, the uh, fourth last. Me getting a bronze medal is the uh, most sense that's ever been made. I'm going to be on irrespective of position. I am pleasantly surprised with my performance. Yeah, everyone did really well. Sersha, the only thing I will say is that your questions were often irretrievably difficult. Honest. Oh, that's. I I had a few quite straightforward ones, but I had some very hard ones as well. I'm the, I'm the proto martyr album. All right. All right well, <laughs> August. What are your three uh, final editions? Three final editions. I will add, just because I think it's going to be a shame if we don't have an album by them. Ride the Lightning by Metallica. Good. Good. Nice. Uh, let's awesome see. Lineup. What else do I want to throw in here? God, I wish you listened to Nine Inch Nails. I'm so sad we didn't put one of them on there. Oh, yeah. You should totally put Downward Spiral on there. Just saying. Just saying. I don't have it on my list, though. Tough so. titty. Put it on there. <laughs> it's <laughs> on there now. Or at least put the fragile. Come on, I am, man. I am no longer asking. <laughs> okay, well, next album I'm going to put down is uh, just to cover some more rock basics somewhere in time by iron maiden ah that's on my list i was gonna put power we, one? Oh, we do not we no no yeah. we had a megadeth no power which Slave. i also recommended megadeth makes it on there before metallica oh. <laughs> i figured someone else would pick it though but here i, I thought am. i thought power slave would be the one that that someone would choose but yeah, that's wrong. that's the one i had but no, it's the normie. I mean, answer. Power Slave and Somewhere in Time are the two best my Iron Maiden albums, so. Uh, yeah. And for my final record, I'll do one more for personal taste. Self-titled System of a Down. <laughs> Very good. Had to do it to him. August Core had to do it. Yeah, okay, podcast. So we have our finalized list of 100 albums. They will be popping up on the screen right now for you all to uh... see. Doodly doodly Look doodly. At them. They're right there. Van away this. In time so that I can share a hundred albums across different title cards or whatever. Oh look, Here's... it's it's Daniel Johnson. I chose that one. Look yeah. at it go. Look at it go. Fuck you. Now it's gonna have to be there. Just... In the first yeah. round. Oh wow, look, Brockhampton. I wonder who picked that one. Yes. <laughs> um, oh wow, anyway, look, it's it's Brian Eno. Albums. Um and the bracket will be starting on Twitter very shortly. So follow us mm -hmm. at Jams T Pod. Uh, make sure you're following us at Jams T Pod. Put that up on the screen as well. And It'll we will have the results this on this show. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and all right. Make, and we will be running the bracket. We will be running the bracket from round to round. So follow us for all the updates and to make sure that you don't miss oh, any of the polls. Retweeting and that shit so you can share it with your do. friends so yeah, they can vote These polls too. Will only really make sense if we can have lots of people voting in them. Yeah, the really as many as possible. So make sure you share, right. with, retweet them, share them with your group chats, whatever you want to do. Absolutely. And let's see if the best album wins, which is, of course, fucking Comfield by Ortega. All right, closing statement Rock Over London, Rock On Chicago, Nike's. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs>